Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Sai here, and today, we're gonna be finally, finally streaming the Wildling stream. It's been a while! It's been a while! Thanks, YouTube! I don't know why they do this, I don't know why they do this crap, but we just couldn't start a stream! We just could not start the stream, so we're here now. Thank you, YouTube. I still can't change the title, so you guys are gonna have to deal with lowercase identity 5. I can't change anything, it won't let me change anything. And the stream's current bitrate is apparently lower than the recommended bitrate. That's not the bitrate I'm using! <sighs> Seriously? Oh, now it's good. Now it's a good connection suddenly. Okay, well, I can't change it anymore now that I'm in the stream, but I literally said it. Why is it 2,500? Never mind. Make it 10,000. Okay. Maybe, maybe we found the issue after all this time. That's not even an issue. But, guys, Wildling got a buff. Wildling got a buff, and it was a, uh, I don't know if it was a big buff. To be perfectly honest with you, I already forgot what it was. But basically, apparently when you get knocked off the pig, it won't be 60 second cooldown anymore. It'll just be 30 second. Uh, I think if you get off your pig, it's also st uh, 30 seconds now instead of 60. So you don't have to click to get off anymore. Which is nice. I think it also... Dude, I don't know, I have to pull it up. No one cares about Wildling, it's the honest truth. We're just doing it because Wildling got a buff. That is... That's what's true. Alright, here we go. We found it. Wildling. This was March 6th. Shorten animation time to enter the riding state. Cool. Shorten the launching, lurching action after Wildling performs a bump. I don't know what bump is. Is bump the jump over a fence or is bump the pushing? We're going to see right now. We're going to see in the game. I have a feeling. Feral Instincts. What is the bump? Bump cooldown. Okay, so it's pushing. Okay. Okay, well, when I play Wildling, I didn't notice Jack Crab, but we'll see. We'll see. And you know what I'm saying? We'll see. So apparently, when Wildling chooses to charge forward, that's bump, it does it faster now. It starts the animation faster. Really? Really? I don't think so. How is the bit rate lower? Lower than recommended. How is it low? It should be perfectly fine. Watch, when I click open, which is going to be good connection. See? It's suddenly good connection. Watch, when I click off the link. I don't know what this is. I recently updated OBS after like avoiding the update for a month just because I kept forgetting to update. And then when it was time to stream, it, it was asking me to update. So I'm like, well, I can't update right now. I got to stream. So one day I'm like, all right, let's 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 just, okay, really snap. One, oh yeah, never mind. He did block me. One day I was like, all right, well, I'm here on the computer. I actually remember to update. Let's update it. And now all this crap is happening with YouTube. Now it will let me change the title. Now it doesn't even know that I'm streaming to... The stream I want to stream to. I have to do everything on OBS. And if I forgot something. Well now great. It's stuck like that. <laughs> I really don't want to have to do everything from OBS. It's going to be really annoying. I liked using the one on YouTube. Alright. Well we're going to play as Wildling. Enable auto start. Okay. It better be on. It's all on. Again. Why is the bit rate low? Why is the bit rate low? Why is it looking so crunchy? Why is it looking like that? It shouldn't be looking like that. Didn't I click apply? 10? Oh my god, I made it 1,000? Okay, no wonder. I meant 10,000. Why are we banning that? Alright, well I guess I'm playing Wildling, so you know what? It's a good ban for me. Whatever. Are you... You're kidding, you're kidding. Why? <laughs> God, this dude's name is Thick as Pig. You know what? I'm not even surprised. This is just I-95 at this point. People picking Wildling and they're doing it unironically. It's sad. It's sad because they're actually doing it unironically and we're going to lose. We're actually going to lose because of it. But when I pick Wildling unironically, just because he got a buff, we win every single game. Here it goes. Here, watch this. Get ready. Get ready for this beautiful Wildling performance. What are we gonna play though? What are we gonna play? You know what? We're gonna play Thief. We're gonna play Thief because Thief is my go-to man. He is the only survivor buff who I still remember to this day. The most impactful survivor buff on any survivor. This buff took Thief 
from garbage unusable tier, worst survivor in the game, might be worse than Mind's Eye because he's literally, literally worse than Lucky Guy. At least Lucky Guy had veteran bonus. And now, he just got thrown up a couple tiers up. Because he can remove the Hunter's ability to use their ability. Why is that so big, you might ask? Because the, all the Hunter did before was they just literally took their ability. They literally looked backwards. You couldn't stun them. But they were still walking towards you. And you couldn't do anything about it. Now you can remove their ability. It was one buff. And they took five years for that. Anyway. Besides that. How is 10,000 Bire lower than the recommended? Your recommended is 6,800. I have 10,000. It's lower? How is that too low? Does the stream look fine? Guys, does the stream look like it's like you put like a Minecraft filter over it? Is everything turning into blocks? Okay. You picked Bomba. I thought at least it was going to be like a Wu Chang who could deal with with this area, but you pick Bomba. You pick Bomba. You pick like maybe the worst possible hunter to deal with this area. You think that's gonna fool me too? You think that's gonna fool me on top of that? Oh, you must be a clown. You must be a clown. Okay, I'm a little bit scared here because he could bomb through the carousel, which is a little bit scary. Him being able to do that. Why? Well, uh, oh my god, it's in rank? It's in rank now. Okay, well that's a little bit... Mm, fine for me. Doesn't really matter for me. Acrobat... Not so great for Acrobat though. He's in a really bad area. He could have... Ah, uh, you know what? If he was more prepared. Because I, I wouldn't have thought of this before either. I would have to think about like, okay, what would I do against Portal? Uh, he'd also have to know who the hunter is though. Man. Well, I guess it'd be just as bad as if he teleported. Yeah, it wouldn't really make a difference there. Teleport and portal are just as bad in that specific cipher. Ivy is also in rank? Of course not. No, she just came out. Hunters that just came out for a purchase are not going to be in rank. Bare minimum, it's going to take... Usually, it's three weeks. Usually, it's three weeks. Um, it's one week for people who want to pull them early from Essence. So, like, there's, like, seven days that you can't buy the Hunter. You can't buy, you can only pull it from Essence. Then another week, the second week, you can buy them, but you can't play them in rank. That's the current week we're on. And then the third week, that's when you can play them in rank. I've had times in the games past where the third week they still don't release the Hunter in rank, but usually it's after two weeks. So that at the beginning of the third week, that's when you can play it. Can you bomb you when you're on the carousel? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. It'd be pretty bad if you couldn't. But I mean, I wouldn't do that anyway. Because I wouldn't. it would just lead to a basic hit anyway, very quickly. So it's not really worth it. Uh, let's do this side because it's way closer. Well, they, they did do a really good kite. The Acrobat did a really good kite. Oh, it's because it's Snapple. <laughs> Snapple's playing Acrobat. Did the chat just freeze or is it just me? Okay, I don't know if it's just me. I just, I don't think anyone's saying it. All right, that's fine. But yeah, I don't think he can bomb you on the carousel. Anyway, Psyche stream looks good. Thank you, Yunes. Uh-oh. Oh, we're oh, we not going to get it before half. Dude, I swear I saw this pig on his boar. Where was he? He really wasn't... Dude, was he not on his pig? I guess he was not... I guess he wasn't going to rescue after all. At least he wasted his warp, so that's good. Why? Why? Okay. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. How? What happened? And why did we get off our fifth cypher? Because the... I don't know. I don't know why. You can literally see where all your survivor teammates are. They did that buff and it's still not enough. It's still not enough for people to realize that the rescuer is not decoding. So the rescuer is only... Rescuers is gonna only have one thing they want to do. Oh my god. Well, like I said, at least he doesn't have portals. So it's gonna be pretty easy for us to deal with Bonbon. Bon if he were to just walk up to us. The only thing is that he's full presence. So his bombs will be longer range. Less important that they recharge quickly. More important that they have a longer range. He also has that 1000 presence bomb, which honestly, that might be more annoying than even the full presence. 
Why do I open the Wildling stream to see Psyche not playing Wildling? Take a look at who's playing Wildling. The randoms are playing Wildling. Crazy, right? Crazy, you didn't- you wouldn't think so, but they're playing Wildling. I bet you if I did an all mercenary stream, we'd get in more mercenaries. Okay, that's not true, but... Really? Really? Who's playing Wildling? It's more common than you think? You mean the mercenary or the Wildling? I really hope you mean mercenary. <laughs> that's more common than Wildling, please tell me that. Hello, Psyche, what's up? Uh-oh, <laughs> Nadia Rodriguez. Thank you so much for joining the stream. But hello, welcome. I didn't get to greet you guys because I was so tight about the freaking YouTube changes. If I can revert OBS, I'm just gonna do that after this update because it sucks. Does anyone play Overwatch? Hell no! Cypher is prime. The dungeon is also here, guys. Snapple just died like a complete peasant because of our teammates. Oh my god. Bro, moment. You know, that's crazy! He got Terror Shock, you can tell he got Terror Shock and not Bomb Hit, because as soon as I pop that, he's immediately at 3 force damage, so the bomb was still on the ground. It wasn't the bomb doing the damage. It was the Terror Shock. My god. Listen, he's wildling. Surely, uh, I mean, depends if he's on his cooldown, but if he can get on his pick, surely he'll be fine, right? Right, what's a portal gonna do? What's a portal gonna do? It's one, look at that, 117 meters away. It portal only goes for 60 meters. It's not close enough. There you go. See, I told you. Guys, this is an important lesson for why you run teleport on this map. Especially as bomb on. Though, I can see the appeal. BM value? BM? Oh, you mistimed your bomb anyway. Damn. I mean, they just BM themselves at that point. Well, that really shouldn't have been a tie, but it's whatever. Why did I like the wild one? This guy stole it. Stole my life. Well, it's always nice seeing that we play Thief. Some hunter thinks they can chase me. They leave after 60 seconds. And, you know, that's that's good. That's fine. That's fine. Asserting my dominance. Let's go. It's like he's so toxic. <laughs> the BM flywheel. Like the glitch where the randoms are at like first place at the start of the leaderboard. Although I don't think that's a glitch. I think that's everyone saying yeah, never mind. <laughs> Everyone's the same rank. You'll be seeing you be seeing the most messed up you'd be seeing hot girl in first place start a leaderboard, that kind of thing. Saint Peter. You'd be seeing that. First and second place. Saint Peter. Hot girl. Who's the third one? Some enchantress main? Is it like my favorite, you know, you know what, you know, next word starts with a B, you know who I'm talking about. That would be the third place. Right, that's her name, right? Send hello, Tato2. Alright. We gotta say hi to Tato2. Tato best forward. The only wildlings I get in rank are those that bother to get in as badge for him. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, that guy's probably going for S. S badge. Uh, one of you have to move. Thank you, no problem. What about the Merce game? Oh! <laughs> the Mercenary. Yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, remember that guy? Mm. Yeah, that guy was that guy was silly. Yeah, there's only two people here. Leave so I can invite my man. The the mercenary. Legend has it that the mercenary is still silently lurking, waiting to see if we talk about him. What the hell? Spicy's not even online. 30 days ago or more, they're playing with a ghost. They must be on like an alt account or something. That's a worker B rank. Alright.
guys. So where are they? The hell, there's a second one? What? Why do I have two spicies on my friends list? <laughs> so should I just delete the other spicy? I guess we're just deleting the other spicy. Oh, okay, wait. To be fair, I didn't capitalize. It's case sensitive. God, I love the search system. Can I just delete spicy? Oh, spicy. Rook Hunter love. <laughs> Excuse me. It's like, you should fear me. I'm 10.4% Rook. <laughs> Shoot. Watch out, guys. Luca's on the prowl. Don't match in Survivor until this dude's higher up above your rank. You want to match him. It's a guaranteed loss. 10.4% Ripper. That's better than 90... <laughs> slightly less than 90% of people. Uh, sh how do I delete you? I can't delete you. Do I have to delete Remark first? Yo, what did you do, Spicy? I can't delete you. Okay, it, it's gotta be. Hold up. I need to rename you so I can find you later, but... What did, what did you do? Spicy has me permanently on my friends list. <laughs> me when I get Ripper fans off. Uh, me when I see Ripper fans reaps me to the good old days of 2019 when Ripper was best hunter. Oh, 3.8% Ripper, guys. You better watch out. You don't want to match against me. 2.5% Hell Ember with zero points. Even with zero points, I'm better than 97% of the server. Let's go. <laughs> oh, right. We can buy you now. Still haven't read what she does, by the way. Oh, hold up. Let's read what it says. Once the friend left, that bizarre journal provided the perfect explanation for Ivy's symptoms. And the gifts of the Yithian brought her to a distant place. This, this, is, this is what Dream Witch is, but just without the serpent tail and without the mask. This is literally just Dream Witch. We all know it. It's it's just Dream Witch without the mask. Anyway. The Shadow. That's that's the Oh, that's her hunter name, the Shadow. The Shadow, okay. Wait, why is the second S not capitalized? <laughs> oh, that's gonna bother me so much. Look at that. Hell Ember, capitalized E, smiley face, capitalized F. What's going on here? Is her name just going to be Shadow in the future and then they'll just capitalize the S? Or is it going to be... <laughs> My god, I hate these devs. Why? Why the the? Is there any other the hunter in the game? Oh, the red... <laughs> Point taken. Point taken. We have the Ripper. Which Ripper? I mean, Ripper makes sense. He's mysterious. He's like the, like the one and only. The Shadow... Come on, you're just a worse opera singer. <laughs> if anyone is gonna be named the Shadow, it's gonna be opera singer. Come on, devs. Guys, I'm 31.0% Nightwatch. That's what we like to see. Well, I guess we're gonna win these games no matter what, because we're just banning Mad Eyes. You know what? Last dude went Bon Bon on Moonlit with... I mean, I'm not gonna bash on him for trying for it. You know, it's worth a try. It's not like it's just like, it's been out for a couple years. Yeah, how are you supposed to know? You gotta try. Portal definitely didn't seem that good on Moonlit. What? 60 meter range? Chair was 120 meters away? That's, that's halfway. That's halfway exactly. A little bit more than halfway because it was more like 115 meters. But man, in that situation across the other side of Moonlit, that sucks. That honestly sucks. What is that gonna do? That's gonna get you a little bit past like the slide area, the third stop, and then past the river. That's all that portal did there. It's it's almost as if he just got plopped out at the bench uh, at the exit of the bridge. That's it's all that they got out of that. Probably gonna be it's gonna be so hard to say because yeah, it's gonna be worse on the bigger maps for long range, but it's also gonna be better on the bigger maps because it's gonna be easier to catch survivors out in the open when they least expect it. As long as you're close to them, you know. All right, we'll see the wilding buff in action. I love how my hair just goes back. I I do something with my hair like this with my hand. I look down. I look back at the camera. <laughs> it's it's gone. Any personality was lost. We are the shadow. Why is my foot tapping? I feel a song coming. Luca, I don't know what you're saying.
What is this? Is this the Shadow Bolt song reference? Let's go, Shadow Bolt. Disrupt Hunter's hearing, let's go, and they'll never find the survivor now. They'll just find me. It's hopeless. You'll never find him, just give up. Just give up already. Oh my god, is he actually giving up? I should probably be pinging the hunters next to me, right? That's probably a good idea. Give up already! There's no hope! You're not finding them! <laughs> no, my ability ran out! Shoot, what are we gonna do? Now they're gonna find the survivors! <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna keep playing. You're so real? I don't even think that's what you were talking about, but anyway. Man, why do I have this success trick? The rainbow one's cooler. Kaleidoscope, I think it's called. Wilding against wax surfs. This is going to be fun. This is going to be perfectly balanced. Just going to freeze us in place and then pick up. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I mean, he's he is he is the worst forward for a reason. Any weakness that forward has wilding is just magnified. It's like you're putting a spell. <laughs> You didn't know that. <laughs> Man, you guys are cringe. Stop it. Stop it with the references. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Now he'll never know where he is. Ah, what you gonna do, Hunter? You're not gonna find him now. Just give up already. <laughs> the ultimate bath for Wilding. Hunter will surrender if he sees Wilding. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, any problem that Ford has... Being a close range harasser has a lot of issues with uh, with its meta hunters nowadays. Uh, anything like that is just 10 times worse when you combine it with a survivor who is just like forward, but can't turn, has delayed dash. I mean, the only thing he does good is not dying, which in that case, he still dies to a couple of hunters. A couple of hunters still beat his ass. There's a couple of them. There's wildling, there's breaking wheel. Why? Why does it knock him off his pig? It's the only good thing about him. Is that really necessary? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I can't tell if the- Yes, yes. So the batter did ping next to the knockdown. I wasn't completely sure. Okay, anyway, that's- Dude, I hate how the antennas disappear. Look at that. Look at that. The antenna disappears sometimes. You see that? You see that? So I'm trying to see. If I wanted to see if lawyer's decoding that cipher without him pinging, well, now I can see it shake. But if I wanted to see, I wouldn't be able to. It's like, it's a little tight. Anyway, so we have a cipher at shore. We have this cipher. Oh my god, we are, we have more ciphers than I thought. Uh, still though, that one cipher is going to be an issue. Fast power breaking, it looks like. Fast power breaking. Maybe not the fastest. I feel like fastest would have been a little bit faster than that, right? It's some sort of fast power breaking, but wax artist naturally has faster power breaking, but... It definitely would have been slower than that. No doubt about that. He's never gonna know, guys. How 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 would he know? How would he know where the survivor is? There's no way. <laughs> He's gonna lose him now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, apparently they buffed that. Did you, did you guys just see that? They buffed the time it takes to get on the pig. Did they really? Did they really or were they just lying? I think they were just lying. Let's be perfectly honest here. Uh oh. Well you're in trouble. <laughs> You're definitely a joke. Oh my god. Well, the Cyrus primed anyway. Oh, you know what's so bad now? He could just come to me and I don't have the pig, so it's actually... Yeah, we have to play it safe for now. Okay. I mean, if I was the hunter right now, I would use my game since I'd be like, Well, hey, Wildling doesn't have his pig. He's a free target. But I guess the hunters aren't aware of that. See, that sucks, because if this was, like, a super, like, mind gamey hunter, he would leave the Prospector, go after Wilding, because if Wilding is doing the gate, that's a free target. That's an instant down. And his chances of, would, of tying this gate would be significantly improved, rather than chasing a Prospector, which is already, like, a lost hope, because of how long that Prospector is stalling. We're going to hold on to the pig. It lasts 40 seconds. The second pig lasts 40 seconds. We can get on early if we want. It's 50 to 40 from first to second pig. Can you jump? Bruh. You can't jump over anything. I bet you I can jump over this useless barrel. Okay. There, you probably can. I just didn't find a spot. <laughs> you probably can. 
Hide in the pig like that one video? Uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. What one video? It must have been a worker bee because the pig wouldn't be there if the survivor wasn't near the pig. And on top of that, the minimap shows a red dot for the hunter. It shows that the survivor's right there. Literally right there. That's why the hell umber puppetry doesn't work either. Because the exact same thing. It will show that a survivor's inside your puppet because it's gonna play chase music and it's gonna play, show a red dot on your mini map. You can literally see it. So, wow, I got the least amount of points for just running around on a pig. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? <laughs> no, it's a pro tactic. <laughs> oh boy. Pro tactic against the worker bees. Psyche, what are your thoughts on Twilight's redesign at the end of the series? I've never watched Twilight. Okay, I just realized what I what I think you're talking about, but I still don't understand the question. <laughs> the well redesigned. I've never watched Twilight. <laughs> I don't think they're talking about that psyche. Wishing all of you a good night. It's getting late over here. Good luck with your matches, psyche. See you guys soon. Take care. Take a bear. Take a bear, Ripper. Yep, take bear. Take care, Ripper. Have a good rest of your night, my man. You are out there in Europe. You gotta go get your rest. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see you around. Good night, Ripper. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna call him Trash Bag. So we're gonna call him Ripper. Hey, it's either Good Night Trash Bag or Good Night Ripper. <laughs> Which one's it gonna be? What if Hunter blind though? I've been thinking about, ever since Minds I released five years ago, I've been thinking, what if they do a blind Hunter but with super buff senses? Every other sense is super buff. They can hear every pallet drop, every window vault, every um, touch of a cipher, where it is. Um, obviously that's not gonna be enough for Chase. I'll just give you a lot of map info. Footsteps maybe, that would be cool. <laughs> Good night, trash bag. <laughs> Good night, trash bag. It's 4 a.m. Here's Kashenka. You should go to sleep, too. Yeah, never watched Twilight, though. Never watched that show. Psyche like had a spike RSNT? What is an RSNT? RSNT, you mean rants? <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I did. If I did, it was about the G5s. You know what? I'm, I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> Listen, they put my mans on all fours. They massacred my boy. <laughs> he downgraded. He went down in evolution. He's evolving just backwards. Half 4 a.m. too, but Psyche stream better. Thank you, lovely. I appreciate it. Lovely, lovely. Didn't I feel like I just read your read your name earlier? Uh, you were here at the start. OG. <laughs> OG in terms of the start. Next match will be 200 seconds. 200 second kite. That's right. I'm feeling the photo of this game. Okay, well, we're banning Mad Eyes again. That's fine. He's an OP hunter. <laughs> Beats your guys. Aids your coin to I Ailing from years ago. According to Ellie, even right now, I think he put him beats your guys. Obviously, he viable hunter. Definitely viable. 100% psyche approved viable. There's no way he can be countered. There's no physical way you could, like, destroy his walls. There's no physical way the walls are just worse for no reason. There's no way the walls will disappear. Like, oh, let's say you just, I don't know, happen to step on the moonlit bridge. They definitely didn't make those walls instantly come down. So it's essentially a safe place to never get trapped. Nope, that's definitely not a thing. Not a thing at all. I don't know anything about that. There's definitely not a hospital or any bottom floor on any single map. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on here. He's just too good. He's too good. So we had to ban him. I saw Ellie's. I saw Ellie's tier list. I saw that B tier, and I had to ban him. We had to ban him. He's too good. It's like you Chinese era banning bane. It's still a better ban than Mad <laughs> He's still so much better than Mad Eyes. Mad Eyes has no business being high up there. He deserves to be in the same tier. 
as what's his name? Nightmare. I don't even know his name. No, I don't play that game. Never played it in my life. Flash time to the time of Mad Eyes 4K to team at like five stairs. Okay, listen. That was your team. That would never happen to me. That would never happen. It's like losing a nightmare. I, I never. Ridiculous. Where did the hunters spawn? They spawned in that forest? What was that? Such a weird area to spawn in. Very weird. Because <clears throat> they didn't spawn. Well, actually, they might have spawned Shaq, but maybe the prosecutor was just watching his shadow and then saw the hunters going for runes. I don't know. It literally could be. I wasn't watching. <laughs> oh! Nice! Now the hunter doesn't know where the survivor is. Don't worry, Saki, we accept you. I did not say that. Hunter is nearby. 42, 48. Spicy's already doing a nice raw Kai. Let's go. Most funnest match ever played, though. Don't make me pull out my English grammar textbook. You made me cringe with that one. Don't worry, Saki. <laughs> I never played that game. I never played it. Busy. This drippy thumbnail, it'll be you back. Just don't ask where his boar went. Trust me, You're like, I, I'm sure he could get another one if something happened. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm sure there's more than one pig in the wild. You know what I'm saying? Who is the hunter? I should have missed the calibration in case it's like Wu Chang or something. Cause I don't want to give a free hit for no reason. Dungeon is here. Watch, I'm gonna miss his calibration. We're gonna see who the hunters are gonna hit someone at the exact same time. 12%? It's a Percy. Well, that explains a lot. Man, you guys are actually pretty decent at kiting because most, the average person would have already gone down a long time ago. <laughs> Hell, I don't know if I would have lived this long against Percy in that area. I guess what survivor is he playing? Priestess? That's not that great against Percy. So either Spicy's just better at kiting or this Percy just sucks, but. Obviously, Spicy's just better at kiting. There's no other option. Psyche, what's in... I don't play the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't play! Don't worry... Oh my god. Every time... Every time I see Psyche, I just have this instant urge to read it. Because it highlights it in orange. If you write Psyche, it highlights it in orange. So I'm, I have this instant urge to be like, Ooh, well, someone's saying my name, I gotta read now. I don't know if... Yeah, let's still... Uh, is it even worth it? It's not even gonna get finished. I mean, it still helps for the next Cypher we decode, because we're gonna anyway have to decode another Cypher, and it's gonna force Percy to camp that Cypher for the rest of the game. Now, I myself don't think I want to go to that Cypher. I feel like it's a better idea to have Percy set up another connection to a different Cypher. That way, in case he goes back to camp it, instead of me being chased, because I put myself there, he'll just destroy the connection. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, oh, he immediately broke it because you set it up a statue? Why? Bro, it's not even the closest cipher. Well, whatever. Nah, you didn't have to pick yourself up. Oh, yeah. Imagine if, imagine if he picked himself up and he immediately got knocked down. Well, actually, that's fine. Yeah, that would be fine because he would still live. Please get on in time. Oh my god. I swear if he dashed one more time, I'm pretty sure he would have canceled it. I'm pretty sure it would have been too late. I don't feel like there's any difference whatsoever. Okay, let's get out of here. He's not gonna hit. It was gonna be nice to body block one hit, but... Mm, we gotta get out of there. Because I'm realizing now, if I let my pig get hit, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm stuck in the same boat now. So we kind of just have to let him die. It's actually, that would be a horrible play because we want it. We need to keep our pig because the pig is how we escape this game. We're an unchangeable survivor. If we give him the free knockdown, oh my God, you just leave. Oh no, not the BM. Whew, he almost got knocked out of <laughs> Imagine he got knocked out of the gate and then knocked down from the portal. That would have been sad. All right, there we go. I'm always getting only plus nine. Oh, they finally removed the promotion thing. Nice. Thank you, devs. I was half expecting to be at like one point remaining there. <laughs> Alright. 
I just did a two second kite against my own main. I'm quitting. Listen, you're fine. You, you, clearly, you just gotta play your main more and then you'll learn how to counter better, right? That's my advice after all, right? Okay, well, it's not that simple. <laughs> if you're a decent kiter already and you're a decent hunter, it adds valuable information to both sides, both as the hunter and as a survivor. A lot of decent information. But I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, I mean. Well, to be fair, it kind of gives you an idea about what to do. So, I don't know what's going wrong there, mate. Clearly, you need to watch another Psychic Kiting Guide video, which I'll be recommending to you right now in this stream chat. There we go. One more view added. Thank you so much, Mark. <laughs> okay. Enough joking around, though. Alright. So far, Wiley has been utterly useless. But you know what? That's the case with all harassers. Just everyone's just doing a killer Kai. So what you going to do about it? Nothing. We're going to go through and we're going to say Wilding was the best survivor there. Wilding carried us. Because we won. We won, didn't we? <laughs> Dude, I hate nothing more than people who be like, oh, we won. So there's nothing wrong with our build. So it's something like that. Hmm, that almost reminds me of a certain stream from like a couple days ago. But anyway. And we tied. I mean, so far we haven't lost as wild. We we actually lost the game. We didn't go wild. So, is this a sign about wilding? It's like, have you ever played Terraria? Yes, I have. A lot of times. I beat the Moon Lord, but it wasn't on expert mode yet. Because the thing is, that world was so long. I think the world... How long was that world? That world was, I think, a hundred over a hundred plus hours long played on that world. A long, long time. Just collecting everything, just looking at everything. Because that was my first time getting that far. And I never went back to it. I immediately started an expert world, but I never got back to it. I mean, that's not like the first one I ever did of Terraria. I played it a lot of times, but... A big majority of the time, there was like Moonlight didn't exist. Um, other times, we just never went that far, because my siblings never didn't want to play further and then this time yeah same exact thing they got bored but i went all the way and decided well, you know may as well be him may as well see the end but i ha i haven't beat the game uh, after the journey's end update which actually has the credits <laughs> i've never seen the credits to this day <laughs> haven't beaten it after journey's update journey's end which means i i haven't faced the cool bosses um, the, the queen, whatever her name, the Prismai queen, the one you had to kill the butterfly for, I don't think I went against her. Um, there's that blood moon boss that, that was added recently. Well, not really recent anymore, but you know, that's it. Dreadnought or something like that. All right, guys, this time we're going to win as Welling. Okay, well, we won all games as well. This time, we're going to make the win happen. We're going to be in trouble, and we're going to need Welling support, and Welling's going to save the day. Here we go. It's going to happen. <laughs> Terraria Switch stream flashbacks. Yeah, those were the old days. Back when I was streaming on Twitch, I did, uh, I think I did two Terraria streams with Miki on Expert. Uh, we never went back to it because at the time Miki really wanted to play Minecraft with uh, with Sarah and a bunch of other people, and so he was into that. Now they don't play anymore, but I also haven't asked about Terraria since then. The last time he said, "Oh, well, I'm playing Minecraft a lot," so we haven't played Terraria since then. Cow was two one one for the first two games. When did we lose, though? When did we lose? We lost. Where, if we lost, then where did the tie come from, then? How, how long is the stream? Four, 40 minutes. I mean, I would expect there to be five matches in 40 minutes, but we only have three? Yeah, there's the Thief game, which we tied. There's the Wildling Lakeside match, where there's no way the Hunter could have heard. Like right now. How would he know? How would the Hunter know? There's no way the Hunter would know where the survivor is. Impossible. Why would you pick that spawn and I guess they want to Okay, I guess they want to block shed. Yeah, I guess that's one way to do it And then it was the wildling on lakes. I didn't wildling on hospital, right? It's only three matches 
last stream. Last stream was 2 and 1. Did I never update it? Did I forget to add something? Because you like 2 and 1. Alright. I mean, I never thought about liking numbers like that, bro. <laughs> Alright. What do you mean exactly? What do you mean? Okay. Let's not make this weird. My cat is climbing into my leg, guys. Help me. Hit your leg a cat over the head like this. Like this. Ah! And she'll look at you like... And she'll jump away. How do you, That's how you deal with a cat 101. <laughs> not, not hard. Not hard. Let's make that clear. Not hard. Just a quick jab. Listen, the cat jabs too. It's fair. <laughs> Is it animal abuse if they do it back to you? I mean... Okay, I'm not- okay. I'm joking! I'm joking! I'm joking. I wouldn't never call it animal abuse. You underestimate my cat's like Listen, your cat is not a- what's it called? Mm. Listen, your cat is not a WWE wrestler. You can manhandle that. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Alright, let's stop right there. Let, you can manhandle that cat. Alright, you'll be fine. Almost, almost turned into a Nello Mello moment right there. Who was the one who said it? Yeah, it was Nello Mello, right? And the bees are gonna cancel the bees. <laughs> was it Nello Mello or was it... Nah, it, it wasn't Poch. Because Nello has this, like, distinct accent. You can tell it's Nello. Granted, you don't really need the accent to tell. It's just... I don't really remember their voices. Which is crazy, because I was literally in a tournament with them. Can you hit the chair, by the way? Just hit the chair, all Please, please hit the chair. All right, not so fast there. You thought, you thought. Oh, she doesn't know where the survivor is. Let's go, how is she, how would she know? Wait, what was her first trait then? Blink? She never used it, if that's the case. Don't drop the pallet. Why would you walk away from the pallet though? That was some beautiful pallet stuff. What? <laughs> I did not see that coming. That fell out of nowhere. Is this the difference where gets hit? That actually helps though, because now the batter could run away from the mirror. I did not see that coming though. She has to break one of these. And that's when he transitions. Good move, spicy, good move. It sucks because nothing is in this direction. But Man, you know what? I probably would have gone over here. That's where I would have went, because this pallet is not as good if it's coming from this side. Wow, these are some nasty magnet stuns. That's that was a long one. I saw that one. Except, was it really necessary? Okay, which one? I don't think so. <laughs> Wilding OP. Wilding is running. He's running. He a runner. He a track star. Okay, one more. One more. I don't know if the pig's gonna last though. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright. Wait, why are you back here? I guess we could take one hit. I mean, we're anyway gonna have to get off this pig. Oops. Yo, dead. Eh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Prospector! Hmm. Uh-oh. We may be in trouble. Uh-oh. 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 Swing, 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 swing. Yes, yeah, she swung, she swung! I hope. Oh, he's free! Let's go! A little bit early of a pop because now he should have waited a little bit longer so that the the like escape animation can go through so that he's not wasting borrow time speed boost like getting out of an animation. But I mean, it's black me, so I guess he gets mirrored anyway. But just in case, like just to force him mirror out for sure, you know. Shoot, this might be Spicy's last chair. No, 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 it's not because he struggled free, right? How much struggle did he have? Well, he had to drop one time. And then she went after me. So then that's, um... Oh. And then she went after me, but... Spicy can pick himself up here, though. Um, Spicy will not necessarily get away, though. That's the problem. Ooh, there's a ball here. Oh, hey, Spicy, you got a ball at Chet still. Yo, Lucky, we got Wanted Order on the most useless survivor to get Wanted Order on. 
It was a two and three chance of getting wanted or on actually good survivor, but not today, not today. Let's she see if she switches. Oh, I can't see her anymore. I don't know if she switched or not. We could always just walk there too, you know. Yep, she definitely did switch. We're not gonna get it before half anymore because I wanted to be sure. I don't want to waste my pig and then realize she's at chair and then I'm not gonna have enough pig to get back to. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I mean, the gate had a lot of parts. What if she has teleport though? Yeah, we're gonna get on just in case. Because worst case scenario, he can't open the gate and we need a rescue. Okay, he'll open the gate. I think we would have made it though. I I'm pretty sure we would have made it. He's really fast. Don't underestimate Wildling's speed. Yo, does Maggie not activate inside a gate anymore? Why did it not do anything? Was he already out of the gate? I wasn't even paying attention. Well, Wildling saved someone there. That's a good, that's a good start. We got value from the pig. Let's go. I don't know if the buff made a difference there. That's what you get for BM though. Uh, her mirror flipped? Yeah, her mirror flipped, but that doesn't mean she took it. That just means she flipped it. I didn't get to see if she took it, though. Three and oh. Technically, three and oh and oh. Sorry, three, one, oh. Technically, three, oh and oh, if you don't count that thief match. Which, I mean, I love flashing the hunter. It's my duty, but... Wildling, Wildling is getting some work done, too. We're only getting... Plus two this match. We've been getting a lot of only plus ones though. This match we only got plus ten because we got a perfect escape, so we all get bonus points. But why are we doing too hot on the point score right now? It's if other people do the rescues, if other people kite really well, I mean, why does not really get any points? Even here, we actually got less points than Prospector. He's not even as good of a harasser. Who's a better harasser? It actually might genuinely be Prospector. <laughs> It's really sad. <clears throat> but against some hunters, I can seriously see Wildling being there. Like, like, think about it. What would you do? What would you do if you're exactly the blood in that situation? How are you going to stop a Wildling? There's nothing you can do to stop a Wildling. Even if you use a mirror, that's such a waste of a mirror. It's going to get one pig hit, and you still have the whole pig to deal with. But yeah. We did get a pretty good hunter to go against as Wildling. Something like Sculptor would be really sad because every time we rescue someone, they get free presents out of it. Oh, that's a cool skin. That's neat. What is this monstrosity? Uh... Oh, that was the logic path. <laughs> that's the excellent why it's a monstrosity. They're all monstrosities. We all know that already. Especially that mechanic one. You guys know what it's showing on time. I forgot the name. The one with the ears. Especially that one. Yo, Blue Aladdin's in the shop. Let's go. Who voted this? Who is voting on this big-headed man? Why? It takes up like <laughs> takes up such a big part of your screen. Okay, this is a nice skin though. I like this skin. This is a neat skin. I never really understood the point of essence returns. I guess it's there. The option is there, but who's going to be buying these with Echoes? You're just going to use an A card, and guaranteed A card. Do P is, is the demand really that high on these A tier skins in essence? Dude, that smile is creepy. Chat Eyes is back? I can't believe I don't own Chat Eyes. Well, I can't buy it because it's Echoes, but if it was Frags, you know I'd be buying Chat Eyes and doing a stream on Chat Eyes. Did I ever do a stream on Chat Eyes with the skin? Maybe it was on someone else's account. Maybe someone else let me their account. And they're like, hey, I have chat eyes skin and we could play chat eyes. And nine. Oh, I forgot we're supposed to be banning. <laughs> we're supposed to be banning Mad Eyes because he's too good. Cat girl Tracy, is that actually what she was? Here, we'll find it right now. We're gonna find the skin right now. It's here. Candy girl. 
I don't know what cat skin you're talking about, but that one might be freaking me out even more. Only one I know is the mercenary one, which that one. We don't talk about that one. <laughs> um, what is this? What is happening right now? Hey yo, people are teleporting. She's a cover for being a cat girl. Mm. What is this hunter's plan? Are you gonna go after the wildling? Are you gonna like corner Snapple? It doesn't really matter if you corner him. He's already cornered no matter where you spawn around him. It's a good cutting area though. Lots of rotation time. That's why that corner is okay. Because it gives you a very strong place to rotate the hunter. Every other corner, it doesn't have like that huge ginormous wall in the way that you have to go around. That's why those corners would be considered bad. How does the hunter know? How would the hunter know that he's at fourth stop though? I use the whistle. There's no way. Oh, you can't cancel the whistle anymore? You used to be able to cancel that. <laughs> they didn't say that in the past notes. Seki, what is your favorite TV show? You know, we don't have to talk about it, you know? Not that I watch even TV in the first place. I've watched literally almost no TV shows. There's no need to talk about it. I'm not a big TV guy, you know. TV is a thing in the past. Now we be Netflixing and chilling. You know where it's at? Uh oh, that's a no recovery hit. Do you think Ivy is OP? I haven't even read what she does. <laughs> you don't think so? Well, I'm glad you don't think so. Chances are she's not. Um, but I mean, certain hunters like Opera Singer. That one you could read right away. I only read her base stats. I didn't have time to read more, like her external traits. I haven't read her other abilities yet. I have to read it all. There's like four different abilities she could use according to the game. It might be like Clerk where two of her abilities are just like the same one, but just swap from forward to reverse. It's literally just the same ability, but gives in, giving you a different description on what each one does. It's like, imagine if they changed the umbrella on Wuxing to be two abilities, but it's still one umbrella. It's just telling you what each guard does. They didn't do that. They just left it as one ability. That's like Clerk. They they just turned it into two abilities for some reason. They could have just left it as whatever you call it. What was it called? Well, one is called forward, the other is called reverse. But they also could have done like... They could have named it something else. That's my point. <laughs> Instead of making it two separate abilities. Can we not take a free hit? Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Are you gonna jump? Alright, I'll drop this as always. It's only a 12 second cooldown on that jump now, or is it 11 now, or is it 10? Uh, that looked like 11. Could be 12 though too. I wasn't really counting, but definitely not. Actually, it might have been 10. Because the hit was 5 seconds long and then you just went around the wall and then back on it. I think it might be, no, it might have actually been 9 seconds. I have to go read the, the ability, because they, they changed the cooldown of that by one second. That's a bigger buff than the full presence one, honestly. The full presence buff. No, I won't make it. Go! Ah, oh, you suck. Wildling, as always. I should have set up ahead of time, though. That's my fault. I'm over here talking about some random crap. I actually could have done something there. That really sucks. Oopsie, sorry, Snapple. All right, we'll get back to you next time. Oh, that's that was my second pig, though. The third one is significantly reduced after that. Oh, yeah, and on top of that, look at... Oh, no. He barely got hit by that. Man, that sucks. I'm actually, It's actually going to cost us this game now, probably. Because someone's got to do the Cypher now. But if I just helped earlier, she could have kept doing the Cypher. How does this happen? Why isn't Spicy... I don't know. I don't know why Spicy's body blocking so hard against the hunter that he can just smash through anyway. What, is he missing his smashes that badly? 
Oh my god, that's good. You can tell that was gonna be a nasty magnet stun. I don't even want to know. Oh my god, he's no recovery. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He's free, he's free. He's fine. Uh, if he- Yo, best thing to do right now? Tell around the cypher, then we get on the pig, and then <laughs> that's GG. What the? I just got a harpy there for a second. What's going on? Basement? No, why did I get a harpy there? Am I hallucinating? Might be hallucinating. Hit the chair? Chair value? I don't know if I should have popped there, but... Because I really want to get one more jump out, and then when he starts to jump, then we can pop, because... If he smashes someone at full health, they get both the hit speed and the borrow time, so. A little something to think about. But if they say pop, you know, I wouldn't want someone to choose for me either. You know, maybe they're in the optimal area where they think they'll survive. Like, maybe they're going to two-story, for example, where the jump won't do anything to catch up. Like, once once Sandra gets inside two-story, yeah, they could start jumping, but chances are it's probably too late by then. Oh, I don't know, Spicy. Yo, Spicy got out! BM whistle! Let's go! And now we go to the bathroom. I know I didn't do much there. If anything, I kind of pushed him to the chair, but... <laughs> Let's go. We won. We won. We gotta get a little bit BM there. Yo, we get the Hunter a little bit overconfident. You know, you know, nothing new, nothing new. Make him think they have a chance. All right, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I don't think we'll get a match in less than one minute, so we'll be fine probably. We back. Let's get that bacon. Get that fresh meat cooking. Dude, I see these heart icons, and the moment I saw that it was heart icons, I thought the bot was back. I haven't seen that bot in years, and I thought it was back. Oh, please, never come back. You guys remember that bot? The love bot? We don't talk about it. We don't talk about the love bot. I come back, I look at chat, I'm like, oh god, there's hearts. Seki, I think they want me to be the streamer? Who? Who's they? They? Them? You got Ivy in 14 pulls? You must be kidding me! Why? Why you do this? Why you do this to me? Is it because your Discord has the spots? Well, someone, I think it was Net, one of our mods deleted all of them, but someone... Yeah, I guess maybe that made me think about it, but... I'm more used to the I'm more used to the YouTube bots. I see those a lot more often. This this was like a one time thing, the um, the Discord thing. Oops, the one minute twenty four stream is still up. Gotta delete that. You played a phasmophobia, but in a Roblox. <laughs> so basically, phasmophobia, but free. How did it go? Can we keep Snapple forever? Snapple's taking over? Hey everyone, this is my stream now. All right, Snapple, not so fast there. You're not qualified to be a streamer unless you get a gaming chair like this. I think it's off brand, <laughs> but we don't talk about that. Oh, we're still banning Mad Eyes? I choose photograph for this game. Let's go. How is the hunter gonna find us now? Never. The only way they could have countered Wilding Whistles by going Photographer. Now there's no way they can avoid my whistle. 
They have to find us in the real world. There's no way. Let's go. Your butt bone hurts. Hey, yo. Yo. I have to say this story. The butt bone. A long time ago, when I was like in second or third grade, something like that, I found out that apparently humans technically have tailbones. Just like how a monkey, a cat, a dog has tailbones. Because they have a tail. You can see the tail. So there must be some bones inside. Because when I try to... Well, a cat's tail is a lot more flexible. But dog's tail, you try to move it around, it's stiff. So does a cat. Cat will probably bite you before you move that tail all the way. But, guys, here's the thing. We found, I found, that apparently... Oh, that's such a bad spawn spicy. It's just going to get blocked now. Hunter's going to spawn in the corner. I guess it'd be a pretty bad big sacrifice if they did that. Because Wildling? I mean, I could have been Mercenary Gravekeeper. It wouldn't be worth chasing any Rescuer. In my experience, eh, no. Not a great sponsor. It's like, we are monkeys technically, aren't we? I don't think, no, I don't think so. I wouldn't say monkeys. What was it? I think Orangutans are closer than monkeys, but monkeys aren't even... Well, don't get me wrong, monkeys are probably closer than other animals, but... Well, I heard something crazy, like, in biology, I don't want to, uh, listen, I don't want to say something wrong, but in biology, I think they said when we were learning about it, I don't remember anymore, but they said something like, Hunter's never going to find a survivor now, by the way. Uh, we're more related to a starfish than a shark. I think that was what they said. I don't remember if it was something else, but something crazy like that. We are more related to a starfish than some other animal. And there's probably a lot more animals that you're more, like, less related to than the starfish. But you're more related to a starfish <laughs> than a shark. That's crazy. Isn't that surprising though? I mean, shark is a big thing, you know? You think, you think. You think tonight's gonna turn out? And they can't use listen! You're forgetting that. It completely blocks out a whole tray. You can't forget that. Don't forget that. The hunter not only has no tonight's, but they can't use Listen, how could you forget the most important part about the whistle? We're doing it so that they can't find the hunter the survivor through a whistle, obviously. Come on. All right, technically I should be saving this whistle for when I go to rescue so they don't know when I'm coming. <laughs> but, guys, obviously the hunter's going to lose the survivor, right? <laughs> yes, Patrick is your distant cousin, kind of. I don't know if he can still be cousins if you're not even in the same species, but let alone... A little millennia of species difference, but whatever. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it, but we just did. You see what I did there? So he already knows where we are. Which means we already have to waste the pig. Is someone else rescuing? Dude, you're crazy. You're insane, my man. Hey, am I supposed to get a sneak in a rescue here? What's going on? Oh my god. Why did you ever throw the magnet? We can get on the pig now? Not so fast! No. uh Wow, I still actually keep my boost from rescuing. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? It'd actually be better if we didn't have Tide Turner here, so I'm not wasting 20 seconds on my pig. That kind of sucks. He's gonna suck! Seriously, Tree? That would never hit me. Come on. Where is he aiming? Where are you aiming, my man? Uh, why did you have to die by a tree? Wow, that hits? Well, I'm just dead now. What? You still get a 60 second cooldown? But the patch note said... Seriously? What is this? Is it that much? Well, it probably is a little bit much to ask for now that I think about it. Yeah, it probably is. The pig was gonna run out anyway. I uh, gotta love the tree getting in the way. Oh yeah, now we're dead for sure. Now we are 100% dead. Unless we get a palson? No, we're too slow. We would have made it as every other survivor, but we're not gonna make it as well. I forgot about that. Uh, if he gets a window boost, he might make it. Oh, he's already there. Let go of your map! Oh my god. He didn't know he had to let go of his map. She could have died in front of him. 
Oh no, now Prospector is getting into trouble. Come on, Prospector, why are you this close to the hunter? Oh, it's almost as bright as the as the magnet on the rescue idea. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble now. Yo! Yo, I need you on a cipher! You're just gonna die instantly. Why? Get on a cipher. Oh my god, please. You know what? Seriously? He actually lived? Oh, I wanted to jump over that. I wanted to jump over that just to protect him, but... Mm, we need to heal up. And man, Lawyer is doing probably the worst cipher possible. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, help me. Uh, I feel like she should heal me first. No, no, no. Oh, Lawyer's dead now. <gasps> Wait, is he not going for Lawyer? Lawyer's still doing it. What? What? Now they have to cipher not going after the person knocked down. What is going on here? Is he trying to find the coordinator? Which honestly makes me happy we're healing the coordinator now. He should not be searching for a coordinator in this situation. Okay, honestly, if coordinator rescues here would be fine. Like, technically, I don't have to heal up, but... I also don't want the coordinator to be the... Oh, uh, well, if I'm already healed, then you may as well not expose yourself. Because now he's just going to go after coordinator. Fine, I guess she has tied. But I personally would have stayed back. Uh, hello? Is he here? Okay, I'm a little bit worried because I feel like... Oh no, coordinator's still nearby. Oh. Get on, get on, get on. We only have 15 seconds though. Run, 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 run! RUN YOU PIG! <laughs> that actually sounds so bad. Oh! Baited him like a goof! He's a goofball! Jump? Can you jump it? No, our pig's gonna run out. Can we jump it still? Technically we can, but I messed up. I messed up. Oh, read him like a book. Now we die. Because he has another boost. He has two, right? Where's the second boost? Does he now have a second boost? Why wouldn't he use the second one? <gasps> Did he already use one of them? Maybe he already used one of them. Wilding for the win! Guaranteed 25 seconds with the pig! Let's go! <laughs> I think I cut it longer as my main body than with the pig. That's sad. He read me like a book the first time, but not after that. No, then we started reading in like a book. Alright. Wild run you pick. Let's go, we won. Wilding did something! Gah! He's got the best death noise too. Best death noise goes to Wilding, and best dungeon escape noise goes to Thief. What can I say? That that's <laughs> that laugh jumping down the dungeon will never get old with Thief. He's like, hee -hee -hee. like he just stole your mama's purse. <laughs> Run, you pig. Is it? I think I said this last stream. Would it be that bad for Wilding to start with 100% energy? Is it gonna be that bad? Like, come on. I love how everyone is half health. I'm glad we got a chance to reset there, but... I don't know why he... What that hunter did in between the cypher getting finished and Snapple going down. I don't know what happened there. Why would he... Change his mind? Did he want to check on Coroner? Did he think Coroner is his one escape, his one way out? I mean, lawyer out in the open, half health, no way to survive. There wouldn't be anything wrong going after him, right? It's a full full chair prospector. There's nothing to gain from that. Which makes me wonder, when the lawyer rescued me, why? He was going to go after the lawyer there, and then he just decided to go after me again. The cooldown is so sad, yeah. 60... It's it's so hard for me to say. I feel like, is it... But again, Wilding is so bad. Like, would I mind seeing him have 30 second change, like, cooldown on it, if he gets his pig knocked down? It's probably deserved, right? If you mess up that valley that your pig dies. 
<laughs> yeah, the Seer Depth sound where he just does a monotone yell. It's like so out of nowhere. It's like when he's already dead, he's like out of nowhere. Ooh. <laughs> he's a ghost. He's a ghost now. Wilding is so fun. At what point were you guys saying that? Wilding was pain that whole match. Alright. I don't think I ever announced a stream on Discord. Gotta announce a stream for like the one person who uses sh <laughs> who uses Discord. YouTube Psyche IED. For the one person who only uses Discord notifications. I got you, homie. Except the pig is so bad that Wildling cooked it. There we go. Only on this card will we find exclusive messages with the announcements. We don't use bots here on this channel. We don't use bots to do our announcements. I personally handwrite every single one of those. And this time we said that Wildling is so bad that Wildling himself decided the pig makes for a better meal than a friend. Which is not even wrong. Wildling for the win, let's go. <laughs> Imagine if he got rid of that pig, he would lose all that extra weight, all that speed decrease he's carrying around. And if the pig is dead, why am I still slow? If a pig dies from a hunter's attack, why am I still slow? Hell, turn that thing into bacon, it's dead already. <laughs> technically not, technically... It says in the book he runs away, but does he? I think he dies. <laughs> New pig just replaces him. Alright. A little bit salty there running into a tree. But we'll be alright. We'll be A-OK, -okay, guys. Wiling is a sad survivor, but we'll be alright. Hi guys, I saw the announcements in Discord. Can't believe I was in the stream. Shut up, you were already here, you. Who is who is gonna be the one person to come here from a Discord announcement? Who who will know? <laughs> Not the ping in hourly. Tofu, there we go. There's our one person who uses Discord announcements. I knew it, called it. I was like saying earlier, Dasha Bullet that nightmare event, for real. I was saying earlier, watch, that one person doesn't know we're streaming right now, still doesn't know the schedule to this day. Now they know. Now they know. How would have they known otherwise? They got used. They were being used wilding whistle on for the past hour. There's no way they could have known otherwise. <laughs> you totally joined from the need out. <laughs> you didn't see the time? Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. I told you guys that one person, that one person will come here. And we got that one person. Welcome, Tofu. Looks like the hunter thought they would get a easy chase because they're like, ooh, someone spawned in a garbage area. They're like, ooh, I really hope these people don't know that middle's actually a decent spawn to easily get into factory. So hopefully they don't know that and they just spawn the rescuer there and they don't take advantage of that. But no, Techie's too big brain for that. We're going wilding on the side and now they're going to, I mean, hell, if, even if they chase me, that'd be even better. All right, we're going to do the cypher right away. It spawned right in front of us. Already fastest decoder in the game. Because we can just immediately do the cypher. Let's go. Oh! How would he know? How would he know? We used the whistle. There's no way he could know. How would he know? There's no way. Alright. Oh. Uh, dang! We started a cypher immediately and we're still behind the journalist? That's crazy. I guess she also spawned in front of a cypher. Oh, yeah, we're behind now. Love the lag. Is the lag that bad? Is the stream lagging, guys? You think they got lag both times? Everyone running to play here? Who's they? What is this? What is this terrifying being called they? Who is this they? <laughs> Should I be afraid of them? Red Rum. What's up, Red Rum? Welcome to the stream. 
Good to see you here on this Thursday evening. Always a pleasure. We're- look at this! We started a Cypher immediately, we're only at 68. Well, I guess I should be complaining. Mercer would also be at the same speed. It just feels so much longer. Oh no. Fluff. Fluff, you're dying to your own main. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> that's mean. Alright, we're gonna rescue. Uh, that's not basement. That's just a chair. That's just any old chair. Okay, it's basement. It's basement. We'll harbor sound. May we rest in peace. Well, I guess journalist is guaranteed to make the rescue. The only issue is that journalist is not gonna escape basement. She'll use a little bro. If the hunter's smart, they'll destroy the little bro and force her to go downstairs, which... Oh my god, why? Why, Spicy? What are you doing? Why wouldn't you see that coming? Oh my god. You know, the best part is it's not even gonna be before half. This is gonna be so much fun. I mean, I guess she can't get picked up is the good news. Is he going after me or is he going after her? I think we can jump over this. Yep. Hey, make him hit the chair because he's a goopball blink. What is this? What is he doing? Okay, sorry. We kind of have to. Yeah. Well, because of that, we're just going to have to let General Flop die. It's really sad. Really sad. Well, we left basement at full health. You know, all things considered with how badly things were... Us having an extra rescuer now is going to be a big deal for late game. And getting us out of this situation. This pod is gone. We don't have a pig though. Sorry, Fluff. Even if I didn't let it die, we would have been... Oh man, we would have been like, what? We would have been one second off from him about to get picked up. Because he got picked up at 30 seconds exactly. Okay. Well, Journalist is doing a good job hiding. Nice. Good job, Spicy. Covering your tracks. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Nice. He's gonna have Soul Siphon when he teleports on me. Uh, and that's fine, because we can we can take one hit and we'll get away with the pig afterwards. Because the bell, the bell can cancel the pig. Uh, if we do it in the middle. But the Soul Siphon will not. He'll Soul Siphon us and we're just gonna drag it out. Okay, we're... Uh, we're all, we are a little bit behind on decode, but... It's really sad. Pretty sure we can jump over something here. No, we can't. There's nothing to jump over here. That doesn't hit. Can we jump over this? Yeah. Is that gonna be enough? Oh yeah, it is. Can you hit the chair? Right, this time we save the pig, so we have the pig this time. Only gonna be a- 30 seconds is a really short cooldown, that's why I'm not too sure. That's why I'm honestly not too sure about should Wildling still have a 30 second cooldown if this pig gets knocked down. The patch notes said he would! So that's why I'm annoyed, but does he really need that? Like I said, he's so bad of a survivor that I wouldn't mind it, but... Is it necessarily the right path to go? Mm, that was a little bit of a bad rocket, because we should slam it into a into a wall so we also get the speed boost from the rocket. I'm gonna do this so that he's not sure if someone is at the gate. If he if he if he like let's say soul sevens to the gate, he won't just be able to wait for tinnitus. Like right now, he's trying to search for tinnitus and it's gonna be blocking it out. First time that it, this is actually like not that bad. It's forcing him to guess, I think. BM value. Alright. You miss Wildling carrying every match. The one tie is because we didn't get to play Wildling. Because someone else picked Wildling. Could you believe that? Man, the one match we lose, it was to Wuchang. So sad. I mean, I guess we also play Lizard. <laughs> and we didn't lose to that, so that's good. Got that plus five points. Let's go. Look at that. Now we're getting best seduction again. Let's go. I'll give Wilding credit where it's due. 
If he's ever on chair, he has a very easy time escaping off the chair, and he can easily rebound. As long as he doesn't get farmed. Because that last game, that last game, as long as someone makes the rescue, is fine. Wiling will rebound. It's just, it's just how is the other person going to get away is the problem, so. You know, I was a little bit worried there, but then he went after me again, so. <laughs> kind of solves our, all, all our problems right there on the spot. Let's go. My boyfriend's a wilding main whenever he decides to rank. <laughs> Everyone decides to be a troll when it's rank time. Yeah, wilding mains exist. We got a wilding main, apparently. What's up, Heston Churchill? Welcome. Hello, Psyche and viewers. Spooky. All right. Psyche, what's the buff? I'm going to be completely real with you. I don't notice most of them. Most of the buffs, I don't notice. He gets on the pig faster. I don't notice it. When he charges forward to dash into the hunter, it's apparently faster on the animation. Don't even notice it. The only thing I do notice is that if you forget to click on the pig when the timer runs out, it's still going to be 30 second timer. That's the one thing I notice. That's not going to put you at the 60 second timer just because you forgot to get off the pig. And then there was one more buff. Again, didn't notice it. Hold up, I'm I'm trying to find it right now. Whew. All right, let's take a look at this crap. Here we go, right here. Oh yeah, this one. If Wildling's charge at the hunter is interrupted, the hunter's knockback will also be interrupted. I didn't know this. So apparently, I guess what they're saying is that if for some reason, if he's in the middle of dashing and somehow it gets interrupted... The hunter would still be getting pushed back as if he's still there pushing them? I don't know. It sounds like something that would only happen in 2v8, because how would you interrupt that once you start getting pushed? Well, would it be like a bomb? Is that like the one way in 1v4 you could get interrupted? I guess statues? It would have to be some kind of hunter that can set up their ability and it goes off on their own. because You can't trigger abilities while you're getting pushed. Has to go off on its own, so I, I don't know how it would happen. Alright. Yeah, we're cooking the boar. He made for better bacon than, <laughs> than a teammate. Yo, if the boar could decode, we got, we got something cooking. Yo, I just imagine like this little little pig decoding with his hooves on the cypher. That'd be crazy. It's almost as bad as seeing a little girl decode on the cypher. That should be April Fools. <laughs> that should be the April Fools update. When Wildlings pick can now decode. You can send it off like a robot. Yeah, we're three manning. We're gonna lose now. Boar should rescue Walling off of the chair. Boar can do everything. Boar is just the robot, but... Give him the robot model. Oh, that'd be so creepy to look at. His hind legs would move like the human legs, and his front legs would move like... <laughs> human arms, oh god. That'd be scary. <laughs> that'd be spooks. Alright. Mercenary Ben? Doesn't matter. We're not going mercenary, because there's a new rescuer in town. <laughs> That sounds so dumb. Your dogs will go over and start playing for you. What the hell? Alright, well, at least this person's playing lawyer. Not a bad pick. Hopefully they know how to kite. That's the one thing. <laughs> Decoder boar is not going to be better than mechanic. Honestly, because the boar doesn't disappear. <laughs> Already going to be better. Hog We got to get the hog going in here gotta every time we get on the pig gotta say hog rider. that's not for this stream though this stream we're cooking him up there's no hog <laughs> yo i'm surprised clash of clans hasn't done like a a cooking like hog rider cooking some bacon in the background and the pig is not there like in the middle of the background of their one of their animations maybe they already have and we just don't know anyway Anyone is better than Kerr and Mac. Even mine's eye. 
I don't know. That's hard to say. Cause, nah, because if a mechanic robot gets found, she's worse than mine's eye. It's so bad. She's all. She's already pretty bad. I only think carrying her as a robot and her robot is nearly useless now. The hunters spawned above the map, right? Hold up, hunters never gonna know. Or did they spawn over here in this direction? I wasn't really paying attention. Shoot. Wu Chang, we're gonna lose to Wu Chang again? God damn it. Man, who remembers when psychologists could heal up people in the middle of Kais because it only lasted five seconds? <laughs> so it only took five seconds to heal. Those are some good days. I don't know if I ever got to pull it off. I don't think I ever had five seconds of distance. And Usually it's going to be better to keep running to take advantage of your distance. Because if it's a slow hunter, you want to keep running to take advantage of the distance. Because slow hunters typically do really well when you're close to them. If you, you sacrifice time to heal... And then they're close to you again, you're usually just going to take a hit. Then if you just ran a straight line, you would not take a hit at all, even though you'd be half health. Uh, and then if it's a fast hunter, well then obviously you can't heal because they're going to catch up to you very quickly. In the, in the middle of your heal. Dream Witch was like the only one. That was the only one. Because you got people who like, Dream, like Dream Witch server will hit someone. The Dream Witch's body is probably out of position because someone is using their hit bonus to get out of the kiting area now. Dream Witch has to go after them, has to run after them. And while it's going on, they're going to find like a spot where Dream Witch is having to waste time going after them with their main body. Maybe even has to wait for the, the, the not the patroller, for the follower to come and then they get that heal off. But it'd be tough though, because you'd, you'd be assuming that she's not near you to just right away patrol you to stop it. In some ways, you could still do it today. But it's going to be a lot tougher. Another white form Wuchang. So we're going to have to use the pig here, no doubt. Unless we don't get seen. You know, if we don't get seen, yeah, that's not happening. Bye bye JUMP! I know you can jump over that. Don't lie to me. Okay, this switching has a very different idea, bro. Dodge the bell. Can you hit the chair for me, too? No, hit the chair. Or something. I don't care. Hit me, too. That's fine as well. Oh, this powder is dropped. That would have killed me. Got the blink out. Yeah, Ty's not gonna last. There's so much anti-synergy with Wildling. A lot of anti-synergy with Wildling. If I were to fix Wildling, I think a pretty big change would be if your pig is full health and you get off of it, nerf that cooldown to 15 seconds so that way when you use it to reach the chair, you're rewarded for not taking hits reaching the chair. And that way you can still support before Tide runs out. And the idea there is that even if they got hit and tied early on, they're not going to go down until your pig is going to be back up. And then you'll also have that extra 5 seconds to just begin your rage, charge up your rage so that before they go down, you're already ready to push them. That would be a cool idea. That would be a cool idea to get him to, like, not be such a flimsy supporter. Because every time you want to use your... Every time you want to go rescue, very often you have to use your ability to do it. And if you use your ability to do it, you're not going to be able to support them. There's always been this problem with, with, I almost said with Wuchang, with Wildling. There's always been that problem. That's actually, that's actually the number one problem. That's the biggest problem ever since he came out. These other smaller buffs they're doing, they're nice. I appreciate him not decoding negative 40% slower like he used to. That was a pretty big change. That, that though, and the fact his pig can't come back quickly when you rescue with it. it those need changes. You can't you can't have a character like that. It just doesn't do crap. I don't know about that pop. Hunter's just gonna go after spicy now. This is black form, so when he teleports time, it's gonna be white form. Again, same idea. With with white form, we have a chance of running away. Ah, uh, but he's probably gonna get that nice first easy hit on us though. And since he has detention. Whatever, it's still better, but we're not going to last as long. Lawyer's checking. I mean, Lawyer's not leaving the area. He's saying Hunter Change Target, but he's not leaving the area. So that that means he's not coming. Right? What kind of Lawyer would still stay here if he knows the Hunter's coming, right? Alright, so we can confidently say that that's probably not the case. And, and he is so, he is so confident. It's like he has no idea Hunter could spawn right here behind him. Both of you guys! 
Hunter spawns right behind you right now, and if he's in black form, you'd both be dead. Well, he's in white form. Well, last time we saw he was in... He was in black form, but... What is going on this match? He just never used an umbrella? There was never an umbrella sign. He was in white form. No, no. I mean, he was in black form, so he'd come to us in white form. They, they'd have time to escape because the animation of the soul second would happen, and then he wouldn't be able to swing during it. Is Wilding Buff good or not? Long story short, no. He's still got the big same problem where you use it to rescue. You use the pig to rescue. You don't. You can't really support it. Um. They made the charging a little bit faster. I don't really notice. You know. They made getting on the pig faster. Maybe that's a little faster. I feel like that one is more noticeable. But it's also still really hard to notice. Like when I played Wildling, but without remembering his balance changes, I wasn't able to notice it. I'll give you an example. All right. Remember when I was in Poland? I was in Poland for a while, and I haven't played the game in a while. When I got back and I played Opera Singer again, I realized that she was that she felt a lot slower. That, that I could notice a change. That uh, that her recovery was a lot slower. I mean, she was still the same movements, but her recovery was way longer. And it wasn't way longer, but it was noticeable. And that's the kind of buff. That's how you know you made an impactful buff. That a player who obviously you have to play that hunter, you have to play that character. Um, because if they're a brand new character, you have to play that character quite a bit, um, so that you, you remember those things. Wilding, on the other hand, I played Wilding for so long now, although I don't play Wilding a lot, I could notice it, I could tell you, hey, this feels a little bit faster, just on a whim, I could already be like, hey, this is different. But just without reading the patch notes, I had no idea what changed. I played Wilding one time, I think, a few days ago on stream, um during the all rank and i couldn't remember what the changes and i didn't notice any difference i had to go read the patch notes and it says in the patch notes gets on the pig faster um he charges faster with the animation to charge is faster so that you don't have to wait as long he um the cooldown is different uh so that the cooldown is still 30 seconds even if you forgot to get off the pig early it's like it's like that's cool and all like it's that's like that's like a quality of life change but that's not going to make well and good. Has to be stuff that's noticeable. The, the increasing the charge, the, the, the decreasing the charge time to dash, that would be a good change, but it's not noticeable. So, what? It was like, what, 0 0.05 second change? Like, is it that bad for him to be good? I don't see, like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with him making him good? He's still got huge downsides. His only, his only advantage is that he's unkillable, which makes him really nice end game. But is it also healthy to have a faster than a hunter survivor for the game? Honestly, no, I don't think so. I feel like they should be a little bit slower than the hunter if you want to make him that. Because the main reason devs don't want to buff Wildling is because he's faster than the hunter. And if you have a survivor who's good at doing other things and can just run away from the hunter, that's not fair. If they just nerfed the speed, they could do a lot of things with Wildling. They could do these ideas I'm suggesting, but devs are admittedly they're just a bunch of put <laughs> they're a bunch of cats, let's put it that way. They don't they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it, maybe they don't know how to do it. Maybe they want to keep him the same way he is. <clears throat> I don't even know what's going on. They brought back this music. Oh no, it's this super essay. This is a really long event. That's right. Which, I'm just going to read these outside of stream. What is this? Hold on, let me read first before I click that. Oh yeah, they definitely brought back this music. Oh, that's it. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I didn't really feel like reading a bunch. Alright, the chat, is no one talking or is chat dead? Yeah, okay, no one's talking. So those are the wilding changes. Are they neat? Yeah, they're all right. Uh, changes are always appreciated wilding, but not the direction I would have gone. Wow, we're almost level 200. So close to level 200. What is the oldest level now? 310, man. 310, that's a lot. Man, I'm not, I used to be like top 30 before, all the time, top 20, something like that. Man, ever since, ever since COVID happened, no one has a life anymore. 
<laughs> and it just stay that way. It's so sad. I used to be able to just hit top 30 just with evening sessions alone. Now everyone suddenly started doing afternoon, plus everyone sucks now. So then I'm losing. But we had a lot of good games today. We have good people today playing with us, so that's nice. Haven't played blackjack in a while. Should we play blackjack? Blackjack takes such a long time, though. Dodgeball? <laughs> the problem with dodgeball is there are some serious tryhards in dodgeball. A lot. Oh my god, we get 100 clues for this? Let's go. I gotta do this on my old account. I didn't know this. They didn't tell me about this. Psyche, you're like my podcast? What you mean? Yo, welcome to Frenzy Rhapsody tutorial. I don't think they had this before. Carry me for all. <laughs> okay, but long story short, Wildling needs some cheaters. If the pig gets knocked down, it's still 60 seconds, by the way. Don't trust the patch notes. Patch notes said that it's always going to be 30 seconds now, but I guess they changed it at some point. Alright, 3v3 casual mode. Casual mode? I wish I could say that. You should see some of these people. <laughs> There's a reason I don't play dodgeball. There's no time limit in this turtle. Ball has spawned ahead to get up. Yo, you guys need to do this. This is like free 100 clues right here. Alright, let's go there. Maybe it'll finally make me a good dodgeball player. A target marker in the form. Hold up, can I see that again? In the form of an inverted triangle will appear above the other star's head when you are within a certain distance. Because, dude, Dostro gets on my nerves. I'm always so confused. Like, why is stuff not working the way I want it to work? Alright. Oh, well, I get the idea. You mark the enemy, throw a ball to hit them. Did I mark them, though? Oh, yeah. You have to surround it. Let's go. They're wounded. Imagine getting wounded from. <laughs> Imagine getting wounded from a dodgeball. Let's go. He died. Toxic competitors. He scored one point. Wow, they actually had a kill death ratio now. Yo, we already picked up the tutorial. No, we didn't. The enemy's hiding behind us, so lock on them before it's too late. I got you, homie. Alright. Oh. Ah, I see now. Oops. I didn't know there was going to be something else there. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that he was behind a rock. There's this tentacle in the way. You missed the survivor. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, we're gonna be here all day, boys. World's best IEV kiter and rest here can't hit a ball in dodgeball. It's confirmed. Release the ball in a different yeah. He outdated! He didn't see that coming. <laughs> Getting hit with balls hurts? AO? I mean. If it, if it's if that's you, that's you. But some people, you know, they're into that. So, tap the ball to pass. You pass the ball to your teammate. Your teammate has hit the enemy to right. Let's go, bot. You've completed the story. We'll proceed to the special balls. Oh, special balls. Dash balls are an attack. All right, that's cool. I already know what these do, though. Are they gonna teach like extreme? Well, it's not really that complicated. But are they gonna teach how you can save the? How you can save the explosive ball until it's about to blow up and then throw it. Yo, can I? Oh, okay. You've hit the enemy survivor. Besides the dash ball and sniper balls, by red and blue, explosive balls will cause explosion. Star counter will explode when the counter ends. Tossing against an off score, hitting the ground will also detonate before the countdown ends. Man, I didn't think about throwing it on the ground, though. Because for me, it always locks on down on the survivor. I can never choose. Maybe you can though. Phase one, we charge for a second time. If the second charge up is complete, the sniper phase. Let's go, we completed the tutorial. Game over. 
100 free clues. Let's go. Do it right now, guys. Get your 100 free clues right now. So this is sponsored by Frenzy Rhapsody. Go get your free 100 clues using code Psyche. Is there one for every mode? Dude, I could probably get 500 clues just for doing tutorials. That they didn't tell me about, by the way. Hold up, do you have a tutorial? Oh? Huh? What is this? This is not a tutorial. Oh my god, it is. It's just more boring. <laughs> Alright. Dude, if Blackjack doesn't have a tutorial, I'm gonna be mad. I actually wonder what it says in the pro tips. Because this is this one I know really well. Except I forgot a lot of it. <laughs> Players can choose to hold item cards. Alright, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Reveal card, greatly underestimated by most beginners. Yes! Reveal card. I like using it at the beginning. I prefer using it towards the end. I used to buy one every round just to reveal one card, but... I found out that if you're down to a 1v1 situation, reveal card is way better. Because then you could see how many points your other opponent has and you can make a choice. Like, are you going to win? Are you going to lose if you do nothing? If you do do something and you get a card from the person, are you going to lose because of it? Do you have a chance of losing because of it? So, reveal card, very good. Greatly underestimated. I, would, I don't know by beginners, I just say in general. It's a cost effective option. Price is low, you can use the view the other person. I mean, it should be 50 still to view, view a whole hand. One card is 10, but unless they change something. Yeah, that's good points. If you're closer to 21, play defensively. If you are a hunter, you suffer to keep away. Mm, from your opponents, if you are a survivor, you can choose the accelerated card or pass card. I don't know about that. Teleport where though? What are you gonna do? You need to give a card to someone. <laughs> so yeah, teleport, but teleport where? You still need to knock someone down too. Unless you wanna keep that card. I mean, that's fine too. Like I've done that before, but I definitely wasn't passive about it. I was knocking down as many people as possible for free points. It suggests it's transforming to hunters at the beginning of the game. Yo, I don't like them that they're sharing my strats. I don't like this. I don't ask them to take this down. I don't want them sharing my strats. It's almost like they stole it from me. I think they were watching me. Hunters with less than 50 points can temporarily skip the card drawing. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You could... I mean, there's nothing wrong with skipping all the time. But... Don't be so bold when cutting a hunt. Take every opportunity to decode seven machines and trips. Did they ever change that? Did they ever make you actually getting chased for 120 seconds give you like a thousand points or something? Because to this day, I swear, if I play this game and I get two points for cutting the hunter for a hundred seconds and I go down for a hundred seconds, I don't even get anything out of it. So all it means is everyone else just got free decode time. I just kited for them. I just helped them with my kite. I swear. Is he reading about blackjack rules? I'm reading the pro tips. I was reading the pro tips section. I was wondering what pro tips they have. They're stealing. They're saying my strats. I don't want them teaching people how to get better at blackjack. <laughs> it was my forbidden game that only I could play, and I would always just get first place and get those five weekly essences. Technically, ten. Ten weekly essences. We All right, guys. We're going to end the stream here, I think. That's kind of a short stream, though. Only an hour 45 minutes. Let's play some more. Let's find the alt account. Why is IDV so expensive? What you mean? It's literally a free game. You could buy every character. You could buy the most broken character in the first week of you playing this game. Is he reading about Blackjack rules? Yeah, I guess we are. Alright, maybe I should play Blackjack on a small account. No one's going to have any idea what they're doing. Do I have Bomb on this account though? I don't think I do. Mm, no! Oh my god. No way is this drone's dying to Elk Ember. Elk Ember, let's go. New Hunter. Combination of Gamekeeper and Hell Ember. Oh, this stream is sponsored by Samsung. Are you going to do an Ivy stream? Yes, we will. I just kept forgetting. Well, today I didn't forget. I just, there wasn't enough time to read anything. Like, I didn't have any strategy in mind or anything like that. I'd read it and I'd be like, all right, that one. Ten stream starts in five minutes. I could probably do it. I could probably... 
We could probably wing it. We'd be perfectly fine, honestly. It's not that hard to play Hunter. Like, I want to know what the buttons do. <laughs> like, I'm sure we can get basic hits all day, every day on every single survivor, but... So, do you also play an Asia server? Hell no, no. None of you should play an Asia server. If you live in North America, do not play on the Asia server. Hell no. I'm not I'm not gonna stick around for 300 ping, no way. But I have gone. There used to be more of a reason, and the only reason there was was just to see what comes out. Because back then, I don't know if it's still like this, but back then years ago, China always got updates like four weeks in advance. So if there were balance changes, they got it four weeks in advance of us. If there were skins, they got it four weeks in advance. If there was like a new map, you could check it out four weeks in advance over there. That was the only reason I had for downloading it. You can't like people anymore. That was the only reason I had for having the Chinese version. But even then, after the first time and the second time, I didn't really log on because it took forever to to download all the patches every time. Like, to be fair, a couple minutes isn't that long. But, I mean, if I'm going to do it for both the main game and China every single week, then I'm going to be honest, I'm not that interested in what they have early, so... I mean, we can see, we'll see it in the main game for the English version as well. Seki, are you okay? I don't know what you mean. Are we gonna play blackjack? Can you play wilding in blackjack? What hunter am I gonna play for blackjack? Oh. Do you get points for waxing people? I don't think you do, only for hitting people. I wonder if we're gonna get cheaters. Are we gonna get cheaters? Are we gonna get teamers, people? Honestly, I might buy hunters over both of these survivors. <laughs> these survivors are so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They just suck so bad that I'm actually considering getting, starting to get all the hunters instead of the survivors. <laughs> All right, I guess no one wants to play blackjack. We're too low tier. People don't know what blackjack is. They don't know this button exists right here. All right, let's just play some rank. We were supposed to have Tato today playing all rank with us. But Tato couldn't make it today. She had to cancel today. But I'm sure we'll play another time. Maybe. Possibly. Yo, a lot of people returning. Wait, am I the returning survivor or are they... That's a lot of returning people on my friends list. Miki returned? He logged in? I guess Miki's returning. Yeah, that's true. Man, were all of you dead this long on my... Dude, you had to be dead for two months to get that. Or is it like 30 days? I forgot. <laughs> Look at all these fake fans. Friending me but not playing. I see you. I see you people. Psyche add for carry with mystery survival. Alright, I guess we'll invite some people. We'll invite Psyche too. Hopefully he'll finally join one of these days. The player has set a block invitation. Luca, did you reject? Someone rejected, I think. Hold up. Hold up. Let's fix this. Get rid of these red dots. Oh, the spicy skin is back. Yo, is that spicy enchanter skin back too? Ah, come on. It's alright, I'm satisfied. Chat eyes. I'm sorry, barmaid. But I gotta give this to chat eyes. <laughs> chat eyes better. Alright, we need a couple people. Evening, I think evening rejected me. Evening? Don't you dare reject me. Oh my god. They did it again. <laughs> Alright guys. I guess we don't have another survivor. You can play Wildling but his boar doesn't work. Why would they let you play Wildling then? Oh my god. That would have been the biggest scam of all time. You're just slower for no reason. <laughs> did they make you still slow on top of that? What do you gain? Tinnitus? No tinnitus? Oh boy. That's a change. 
Me? Well, I don't see you. Where are you? <sighs> well, get on! Stop wasting time! I would never reject Psyche Wiki. Man. You gotta stop with the Wiki. Kinda cringe. You gonna keep saying Wiki or you gonna address me like a man? No Psyche Wiki, you're only Psyche! Psyche Bikey is where it's at. <laughs> Psyche Bikey, let's go. What's wrong with psyche, wikey, bikey? Listen, I'm above that. You need to address me like a man, Luca. Where are you, Bunny? Bunny, where are you? Is this you? Are you the fake fan with an invitation? An invitation blocker? <laughs> You're my psyche, wikey. Yeah, you can search up stinky. You have to capitalize the S, though. It's case sensitive. Radio noise? Alright, well, Bunny, if this is not you, you just got scammed big time. Oh no, they're PC. We're gonna be waiting five years. Alright, boys, we're ready. We're ready to play. <sighs> ready to kick some low to your butt. 100% win rate so far. Let's go. I think someone forgot to turn off their caps lock right there. <laughs> you want to switch to mobile? Can you do that while we're matching? Or is it still going to stay PC? You're done with rank? Thanks for the invite. Evening? I'm pretty sure you'd be too high anyway. Oh no, you're not. Sorry, that's ADD. Oh well, maybe next time. It's always next time, right? Maybe? Depends if I play. Jazzy Benno? Jazzy Benno's not on? No, oh, no, he's not playing. He's not playing. Well, he is playing, I just can't watch. Is he playing or is he playing around? Men these days. It's either they're playing or they're playing around and both of them are bad. Get yourself a man who is serious. Get yourself the boy, the one and only. <laughs> In Blackjack you can ride Wilding Board but instead of your board taking hit, you take it? Well you can still only take one hit though, right? Mmm... I guess that makes sense. All right. Well, I'm okay with that. I think that's fair. You got smileys over there? Dude, that would be a dream. Listen, it's not even that much better. <laughs> They're not... It's not that much of a difference. Yeah, they can do 180s, but so can mobile players if they play enough. I mean, you should you should go back to the old days. Back then, when every clown was playing on emulator, it, it was completely normal to play on mobile. And then you see a clown just do 180. That was a time where the where clown didn't have mobile controls. You couldn't you couldn't change the sensitivity, so you knew you knew it was PC when you saw just them do a 180 turn like an NPC, like a bot. Turns out, turns out that it might not actually make a difference if you're on PC or not. Need for speed? Lizards like you've never seen before, at the end of the day it's still lizards. Listen, I don't think it gets much different. At the end of the day, you still have to guess which side of the pal you're going on. It's not that much different. 
I wouldn't worry about it. I gotta go pee, but we might get a match, so. I'll be right back. All right, it's taking a long time for a match. I think we're just gonna do one match today, assuming we can get one. I got this feeling. <laughs> you are very cringe, Luca. What shirt does he have on? The same one as always, time to mine. It's supposed to be green, but I don't know how to turn off the green screen on the camera. Pull it up. Filters. I have a white screen active. Is the white screen secretly a green screen? Oh yeah, it is. Can I delete it? Delete the white screen. Remove. Can you guys see the green now? Yes, you can see the green now. Yes, let's go. Seeing cry? Yeah, you can see the green now. Now it's not invisible. <laughs> You're not cringe. You're fine, Luca. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't think we're getting a match, guys. <laughs> believe, just believe. We'll get it eventually, right? Okay, don't worry, guys. We'll get it with time. Eventually. I don't know. I don't know how it's taking less. Today I pulled up solo time and it was three minute wait time. So I'm like, okay, maybe today four team is going to take less time. I don't know why. I don't know why it's harder to find a single hunter than it is to find three survivors and a single hunter. I don't get it. Because on top of that, if you're playing solo, if you're playing solo, you can only match with certain people. You can't match with like four people person teams, for example. You can't match with two people duoing uh, because you only have spots for three survivors. You either match with one person soloing and two people du duoing, or just everyone's soloing, or everyone's three manning, and then you're just a random. I mean, how? How is it taking longer than us just figuring out the survivors, and then all the game has to do is give us a hunter? What's going on here? Is there like a priority system? Always them damn kids. Damn kids! Who is the damn kids? Why they gotta do this? I just want to play the game. Oh, 
Oh, Max and his dog. Such a cute doggy. He's so cute. Such a cute doggy. I'm sorry, bro. When I see a cute doggy, I can't help but talk to him like this. Or when I see my cat, I'm like, Kichu! Kichu! Kichu, Kichu, Kichu! Kichu. If you don't talk like that to your pet, something's not wrong. Something's wrong. Something's not right. If you don't, if you're not like, Oh my gosh, Kichu! Kichu, Kichu! Something's gotta be wrong with you. You're not human. Doggy! Watch to my doggy! My doggy's so cute! We gotta get doggy in here. We gotta get cat in here. Problem is cat is, dude. Cat is a hard monster to to ship. The dog, the dog will stay still for like a minute, and then he'll start squirming. But the cat, dude. As soon as you pick up the cat, the cat's like, Meow. you can't touch her. Touching her is off limits. But the bees are gonna guess. <laughs> Mellow, mellow. That's gonna go down in history. I'm so glad Nello Mel is commentating again. We're gonna get, I hope we get another Nello Mel legendary moment. Obviously, I don't want him to get fired, but I mean, he's still here, so. <laughs> Nello Mel, oh, that was so good. I miss those days. I think I like, I stumbled in on that randomly. Was this on stream or like, I don't know what it was, but I pulled up that stream. Someone wanted me to look at something. And it was, they didn't want me to look at that. They wanted me to like judge its team comp or something like that. So I'm, I'm like scrolling around trying to find the time. And I just randomly click somewhere in the middle near the time. And the exact moment I hit on is exactly what Nello Mel was talking about. And, but the bees! Like, it was like the first few seconds of the and jumping. And then she hits the bees. But the bees are gonna cancel the bees. And I was like, what? I just so happen to stumble on this, the exact stream, the exact time, the exact, like, seconds. And, and me not, like, I had to be close enough where I'm not just gonna skip over. Because as, if it's not close enough, I'm just not gonna hear, I'm just already gonna search for the time I'm supposed to be searching for. Seki, who you main? No one really specifically. When you play the game for a long time, you just kind of main all the good survivors. And if you are good at the game... You could ideally play every single survivor, but there are a couple that you have to play them single-handedly a lot. But in terms of survivors that I could play very well, uh, we got... Some of these are specialized, like Thief. I can play Thief very well, and no survivor is like Thief. Others, Lawyer. If you know the basics about Kiting, there's not much to add to Lawyer. So if you know how to play, let's say, Perfumer, you'll know how to Kite with Lawyer. It's the exact same. The question is, do you know how to like rotate and stuff like that? Uh, so lawyer, thief, magician, mercenary, coordinator, perfumer, dancer, seer. I mean, there's like a couple of these like embalmer, explorer. Well, like, yes, I don't play them and they are a little specialized, but it's not that much different because there's not much you can do in terms of kiting. It's it's just about knowledge about the game, which I have too much of, honestly. Acrobat is another one I can play. First officer, literally any rescuer. You could throw that on the board on there. Barmaid, Gravekeeper, Entomologist. Some of these survivors like Barmaid, I never play, but there isn't really much to add to Barmaid. That's the problem with Barmaid. And she is just worse than most survivors, so I don't play her. But it's good to know her abilities and when's a good time to activate them and stuff like that. Painter, no problem as well. Patient psychologist. I think Crane is getting there. There's other stuff like Professor, where because I played years and years of Perfumer, Professor's literally the exact same. Uh, he's just way worse. <laughs> um, composer. Uh, Airplanes isn't quite there. Like, lucky guy. Like, then there's a section of survivors where... I'm not going to play, but if you ask me to play, I would play them. I'm just never going to play them because they're never worth playing. Um, those would be stuff like uh, Mechanic, uh, Mind's Eye. I don't play them because they're just severely limited. But if you can play the game optimally, you can still win. It's just so challenging that sometimes you just don't have anything you can do about it, if I'm being honest. Stuff like, stuff like Prisoner. Like, yes, Prisoner is not that hard to play. 
Uh, the shock is bigger than you think, and that's the biggest thing to remember about him. But it's never worth playing him. Um, they have to be like super specialized survivors for me to not really know how to play. Uh, like Puppeteer. He's not that hard to play, he just sucks. No, like, you could probably put me on Enchantress. The problem with Enchantress is that her stun is so small that you could very easily accidentally trigger a hit recovery. And honestly, sometimes it's not even my fault. Sometimes it's just, why does it activate slower? It's like inconsistent. Sometimes it doesn't activate as frequently, as quickly as other times. It's not re as responsive. So I don't know what's going on there. For the most part, like, you ask me to play Survivor, I'll play that Survivor for you. If we're talking about, like, super, super specifics, do I know every catapult spot? No, not really. Do I know how to play for, like, a boss? No, not really. Could I, like, but these are, these are like, actual specialized survivors. These are, like, yeah, I would need to practice this cowboy. Um, but if you ask me to play Gardener, it's like, sure, I'm not going to get the exact, like, milliseconds right with the bubble. But for the most part, you just need to activate it. You can't even be that accurate with the bubble anyway because of the fact that you have to stand still, which goes away against kiting, which... It's gonna slow you down, it's gonna hurt you in the long run, which... Honestly, it really, it really depends. These are like situational survivors at that point. But yeah, most of these survivors are fine. Some of these are harder than others. And that's either because of their abilities, and I'm not used to them, and that's just my fault. Or the survivor just sucks, and there's not much you can do to improve them. Man, we still haven't found them. It's been forever. You really think that you being on PC at the very beginning is making it take longer? Alright, well goodbye. Or we're make we're remaking the team now. Just in case, because that might be that might be legit. That might be legit. I could see that. And uh we're missing one I think. Yeah. Yo, what was your name? I forgot what your name was. Radio noise. Why are you matching? God damn it. Alright, well now we need someone else. Anyone else? Bro. <laughs> Alright, maybe Pom Pom wants to play? I wanted to see if we can get a match faster, and then it was just stuck in the PC queue, even though you switched. <sighs> now we'll never know. Having trouble getting out of Mammoth Raid because these guys are so bad? Oh, I'm sorry about that, Cat. That sucks. I knew I should have pushed for Hydra, but no, I wanted to hump the rank to be. Yeah. You mean, you mean Titan though, right? Instead of Hydra? You wanted Titan, but you were doing Hunter instead? I only know Psyche as the coordinator of Mercenary. Man. That's really sad, honestly. At least it's like, not just Mercenary, you know? I'll take a, I'll take a coordinator from the old days when I only played coordinator. Because no one would play rescue. She was the best rescuer at the time. But then there was like a couple months where I'm like, no, no, Coordinator is still better than Mercy. Which, not to say, that's not even necessarily wrong. Sometimes she is better than Mercy. Because if you are if you want someone to rebound. Oh, we have someone. Oh, we have Pompo. If you want to rebound, Kai, Mercy is not going to give you that easily. Uh, but Coordinator can get you a nice, really long, thick stun. You know what I'm saying? So... That key, that you can use to rebound, get to a good area, and not just immediately get farmed off chair after you got rescued, like, not get hit in the next five seconds. But then after a while, a coordinator wasn't really viable anymore, because the chase survivors became too good. They just became too good for coordinator, and coordinator just kind of lost her place. In terms of decoding, in terms of... In terms of like rebounding kites, coordinator is better than mercenary. Mercenary can take extra hits on the rescues, I guess, which every once in a while is worth it. But with a coordinated team, you just have someone else doing those ha those uh, full health rescues, and you switch out with the mercenary. 
And the mercenary just does your cipher. When I played mercenary back in the highest of the levels, uh, back when I was what, playing every single day rank to try to be top one, that's how it was. I knew my role, people knew their role. After I do the rescue, the next rescuer takes over. We don't have mercenary rescue again, we have two people to hide. And uh, yeah, that's how it worked. That's how it was. It's like, how, how do I tell players to let the rescuers rescue the chariot survivor instead of someone who's not the rescue? There's not really a good ping for that. You just kind of have to trust that the right person's gonna rescue. If, if the people are not rescuing, there's no specific ping to tell a specific person. You could say focus on decoding, but then what if the rescuer misinterprets that? Well, you could say, you could say don't rescue me, but then you might be. It sounds like you don't want to rescue at all. Uh, so there's no ping for that. There's no way. You just have to hope you they know what they're doing. That's about it. There's no specific ping for it. Otherwise, yeah, that'd be a good ping to run, but there's no good ping for that. Yeah, we might. It might actually not matter. Yeah, might be waiting all day here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sagi. We all know you mean the best survivor in the game, mechanic. Yeah, I was playing mechanic back when she had negative thirty ball. Man, what did they do to mechanic? Destroyed her robot, and then they're like, "Oh, surely she'll be good if we buff her ball a tiny bit." Honestly, they may as well have kept it 30%. wouldn't have changed anything. It seems so cursed to me. To this day, it still seems so cursed that Mechanic doesn't have 30% slower ball. How could a fragile survivor like that, who's all about decoding... I mean, it's literally in her name, Mechanic. You think, you think the best survivor would be a Mechanic to deal with cyber machines? It's so sad what they did to her. It made sense. It made sense that a mechanic did did it best. Honestly, I like that. <laughs> I don't know what these devs are cooking up. They're cooking up something. Something something smells burnt though. Yo, what's up, Ned? Welcome. Been a hot minute. Oh, sorry, not Ned. Lantern. Did I say Ned? My bad. Welcome back, Lantern. I don't really know what to play. We can always go cowboy. Nothing wrong with that. Get some cowboy practice in. Alright, this is we're we're only gonna do one match because I'm not waiting another match. <laughs> another <laughs> 20 minutes. We're not doing that. We're just gonna take this match. It was pretty fast though. It was pretty fast compared to earlier, but maybe it was reusing the time from earlier. Probably not, because it actually does keep in mind the time nowadays. Like if you stop matching and you start matching again with the same team, it'll it'll stay at whatever time it was earlier. I'm pretty sure I'm just once at factory. I can't remember completely anymore. I don't see a shadow there though. Yeah, they did spawn at factory. Okay. Someone spawned at shed. Yeah, another survivor spawned here. I know what spawn they got. They got behind that locker spawn. Or in front of locker. That's a key spawn for factory. Ooh, lawyer? I mean, I wouldn't mind if lawyer took the cypher, but he also has to keep in mind what if Hunter switches, so like, I'm alright with that. Luca has- does Luca have no idea that cypher's already shaking? Luca? I gotta admit, I, I'm not sure if Cowboy's as good as I thought when he first got buffed. I think it's a it was a great step in the right direction. Huge step in the right direction. And don't get me wrong, he's way better than before. But I don't know how plausible it is. After playing around with it, it's really hard to solo kite for more than 15 seconds. Even 15 seconds would be pretty damn good because of how difficult it is. Not having an item, you're only kiting being like broken windows and... The problem is that you have to drop pretty early. You can't just keep holding on for forever. If you take that hit, then last swing afterwards is also going to be very hard. It's a good stalling tactic, but I'm not sure if it's a great rescue tactic to help people rebound. In terms of stalling, though, I think it's got great potential still. I just don't know if you can like really expect to rescue people consistently. 
and keep them alive. You'd have to use all three of your lassos for that. And even then, sometimes that's still not enough. So it really depends. It really depends. It really depends how long the person has been struggling. Depends where they died. I mean, if they know where to die for a cowboy, cowboy becomes one of the better survivors. Uh, what are the better harassers? Because where because where other harassers w would struggle to help someone who died in an open area, cowboy can take advantage of that. And not just in open area, but more importantly, more importantly that, ooh, like you see this, like this is bad. This is bad. How do you deal with this? It's not in range. I think we can shoot over. Nice. But like now, now what? Like the powder area is too garbage. I mean, if we can get him to this pal, we got potential. And then we like try to drop him in an open area again, but like same problem. Now, <gasps> okay, I don't know what was going on there. Oh my God, he almost healed up too. Honestly, there's a different strategy I'm not thinking about. Maybe there's like a strategy where if, if you know they self heal bot, I didn't realize the self heal progress state. Oh, that's huge. So maybe if they already like are almost self healed, it might be better to drop a pallet, drop them and heal them, heal them. Like that might be better to do. That might be better. Where's the acrobat? Sorry, ping one more time. Okay, I'll take that cipher. Cause yes, I'm definitely not gonna be rescuing. We don't, I don't want to, ah, sh she saw me. Okay, Cyber Machine Prime. She's not going after me, though. She might go after me here, though. Still not going after me. Okay. Nice pop. Prime that Cypher really well. You were so far from her. <laughs> Luca, I'm focused on guiding right now. Oh, look, it's back on chair. It's also, like, kind of dangerous bringing the hunter to you late game. Other survivors like Batter, they could do it pretty safely to help someone out even just for a little bit and just run away. Cowboy, you last with someone, you bring them to you. You heard there was going to be a little nervous crossover in Junji Ito. Yeah, Junji Ito will be returning. I don't think all the people who spent a thousand bucks on Junji Ito skins are going to be happy about that. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy about it. Maybe I'll buy the skin and now my account will be worth 1,000, extra 1,000, and then I'll be able to rip off people. <laughs> okay, to be fair, no one could have known it was going to come back. I remember that. That was the first few months of this game, Junji Ito. All right, guys. Nice, thanks. One match. I don't really feel like waiting for a long time again. We got extra deduction because that Gisha was returning. Oh man, if she's returning, she's probably going to be shocked at what Cowboy can do now. <laughs> losing streak ended? Really? We ended your losing streak just with that one match? I mean, I'm over here trolling with Cowboy help kiting out in the open in these crazy areas, and <laughs> I don't think it would have worked with other Gishas, but I mean, we'll take it. We will take it. All right, guys. Keeping me secure and mammoth. Ensuring that Luca doesn't demo. Let's go. Look at this. We helped someone from ending their losing streak. We helped, what? what's his name? Luca from losing their place. Goodbye, Luca.
That would decimate the IEV economy. It already did, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what? How much would it be worth now? Zero dollars. It's coming back. Anything coming back is immediate zero dollars. What's his name? <laughs> I meant Luca. But yeah. That skin is coming back now, and that was worth over a thousand dollars. People were actually paying a thousand dollars for an account with that Dreamwish skin, which is crazy. You'd have to pay me to play that Dreamwish skin. It's so annoying. You heard that laugh? I don't think you guys heard that laugh. It's hella annoying. You don't want to play that skin. You don't want to have that skin. You only want to have that skin so that you can sell it and rip someone off. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, I don't think skins are worth more than a couple bucks at best. Why? Why? The only reason people are getting away with spending with with pricing their accounts at a thousand is because people are buying it at a thousand. If no one would be buying that, no one would be pricing it at a thousand. And then you wait, you wait for the price to lower. I mean, people are gonna get desperate. People are gonna want. They don't. They didn't want to buy an account. They didn't want to buy skins and then let the skins dry up <laughs> just to not get a good price out of it. So really, just people. Where? I don't know where they're getting that money. What, they work? They're working so they can spend a thousand on that? Bro? Well, anyway, it's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that and then five years from now, I'm gonna sell an account. I, I, I should just make like an alt account, just the third alt account I'm never gonna play on. Just get enough fragments just to buy the skin. There's not enough time anymore, but one of these days, man, one of these days, it's just hard to know what's going to be a thousand dollars. Why? Why? <laughs> Why is that a thousand dollars? I don't, I don't know if they had the limited tag. That's a good question. I don't know if they did, but you could, I mean, it, listen, it took f over five years for that crossover to come back. I think it's pretty safe to say it wasn't going to come back and it did. It did come back. The picture woman is in returning? Oh, interesting. The painted girls? Painted girls? What's that? Do they have different names, like, depending on China versus English? Psyche, what does a leap through a window while performing double jump with hook mean? What the hell? Do I have that done? I mean, I probably do. It's just, if it was changed... I don't remember doing that. Is this a real mission? Leap through a window while performing a double jump with the hook. Oh, I know what they're talking about. So the double jump is referring to... It's so confusing, but they think that one jump is hooking to something and then the second jump is like bouncing off the wall. So you gotta bounce off a wall and then as you're falling down, go through a window. That's what you're supposed to do. But they, they consider that a double jump. Let's say you vault over a wall, then that will count as a jump, and then you not you're not leaping for a second time, you are vaulting the wall. So when they say leap through a window, they're talking about bounce off a wall and then as you're flying go through a window. Which is a good strategy to do on real cuts. I like that adoption. It makes sense. I just don't know if you're gonna be able to do it two times. But I like just be careful with it. I'm not sure what would count. Like, let's say you hook inside of the frame of a window and then you jump out of the window. Will that still count? Maybe. Maybe it, maybe it would. Maybe it wouldn't. It's always going to be safe with the deductions. If you really want to, you could probably waste two hooks early game just to do it. Like, like you could probably do something on it with, like, Arms Factory where you hook onto a pawn and as you're falling down, go into, like, a window. You could do that. You don't have to like hook directly onto the window. I'm pretty sure if you hurt, hook directly onto the window, it'll still count though. So it'll probably work. It's like, yeah, I went through the stream archive and discovered I started watching you over four years ago. That sounds about right. That's like when I started. You were one of the OGs in that. I mean, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. A wildling buff? What's the wildling buff about? He gets on his pig slightly faster. And he charges forward slightly faster, so that when you want to push down the tree, he does he does the animation a little bit faster. Neither of those I notice. You can't really notice the difference either. Maybe you maybe you will notice it.
Go into like practice mode and all the stars you can play there for free. You can play every star there for free without having to buy them. Try it out. Do you notice the difference? I didn't notice the difference. The third change was that if the timer on the pig runs out, you don't have to wait 60 seconds. You only have to wait 30 seconds. So you don't have to like prematurely end the pig just so they can make sure you only have a 30 second corner. Because that was really dumb. But that's a quality of life change, you know. Those are the buffs. There was one more change where if you get interrupted in the middle of the push, it stops pushing the hunter. To me, that sounds like a bug fix more than anything. Like, they're suggesting that if your push was interrupted somehow, the hunter would keep getting pushed back, which is crazy to me, but I don't know if I ever saw that. Maybe if you get, like, bomb, maybe if you get pushed by a statue as you're pushing the hunter, maybe, maybe it would stop you, but the hunter would still be getting pushed back by an invisible force. I don't know. I've never seen it happen. Maybe in 2v8 it happens a lot where someone hits the pig, but the hunter's still getting pushed back. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that. I feel like I've ha had that happen and I stop when the hunter, other hunter hits the wildling, but maybe not. You pop by every once in a while. Yeah. It's good to see you though. It's always good to see you, Dancer. All my days are crazy. Don't even remind me. It was good for a while and then... It just stopped being good. One day it just started crashing every day for five, every five minutes, every day. It was so bad, which is crazy because blue always had problems with Omelette Arcade. When I started using it, I had no problems for a long time. It took a long time before I started having those problems. Those the exact same problems that Blue Risker had. That's crazy. Omelette Arcade is. I'm glad so I've forgotten it. It was a pain in the butt. It was convenient, don't get me wrong. It's probably more convenient than streaming on a computer. All the wires and stuff you have to put together. But, I mean, you get a face cam out of it. You get an overlay. You get a chat. You can do other stuff on it. And you still keep the game. And you get rid of the black boxes on the side. That was the biggest thing for me. So that's not just like a... It's like gameplay inside of a big black box. Because since I'm playing on an iPad, it's not going to be like a... Like six by nine ratio. That's iPhone ratio. That's that's regular landscape mode on YouTube. That's the regular landscape mode on YouTube. And you can't do that. You can't do that if you play on an iPad. If you record directly from an iPad, it's gonna be three by four. The dimensions are completely off. You could either zoom it in so that mm, there's always gonna be parts cut off on all sides, or you can zoom it out so there's gonna be extra black space. We could see everything at least. And, YouTube chose the black box route so that you can still see everything, but it's kind of annoying still. So, that was back in the day, though. That was a long time ago. People who didn't watch back then, they have no idea what I'm talking about. Most people didn't watch back then, but I remember when I first made the rescue, I, I was still using Omelet Arcade, and that's when 200 people were, like, watching with, on Omelet Arcade. God, <laughs> that was so bad. I can't imagine watching that as a viewer. All right, guys, I'm in the stream here. Thank you so much for coming along. We'll play the Hunter probably next stream. Yeah, I think we'll play the Hunter next stream, I think. And yeah, I'll actually be sure to read <laughs> what's going on next time. But yeah, I've been told she can teleport around. She seems to be able to split up her body too from the little bits that I've read. I haven't read everything, but it sounds cool. Leaving behind Yithians and she can control them. Sounds like Dream Witch. Not only does she look like Dreamwitch without the bandana, but it literally sounds like Dreamwitch. So yeah, I'll be sure to read all of these and we're going to talk about play her, most importantly, talking about playing her, how to really play this hunter and do I think she's going to be good. It doesn't sound like she's going to be a bad hunter, but if her only chase is being looked at and if you don't, it, it depends how fast you accumulate it to. Is it, is it still four? It's still four. It was four a month ago, and it's still four now. But I did see they adjusted her. Um, I didn't see if it was a buff or a nerf. I'm going to have to read what she originally was, then read the buffs and nerfs. We can kind of get a feel if she was too powerful by looking if stuff was nerfed about her. And then it... I mean, to be completely honest, it's not really necessary. But that way, if I see she's bad, I'm going to look at the patch notes. And if I see they nerfed her, I'm like, why did they nerf her to Oblivion? Or if I see that she's bad and they buffed her... I'm going to be like, all right, at least an attempt was made. At least the devs are trying to keep this hunter alive. It gives you like a feel of, do the devs want to keep this hunter alive? Because stuff like Nightmare, you could tell from the very beginning before he even releases, he's garbage. You play him, he's garbage. You look at the patch notes before he releases, they ever change him at any point? No, then they don't care about this hunter. But this hunter has received changes, so they do care about this hunter. They do care about the balance of this hunter, and they 
I'm, I guess they want to make her part of the meta because any hunter they don't care. They don't update. Like that Percy. You got Percy. I mean, Percy they changed though. Percy they actually changed. They, they actually nerfed him. Which is really bad. I mean, you don't need to know that. You don't need to know that if I'm being, if I'm being honest. But it's cool to be like, man, the devs are so stupid. It's just, man, just another add thing to add on to the list. Note to self, devs don't know how to change Percy. It's like... It's just nice to know, like, what their intentions are with Hunters. They thought Percy was too good. They nerfed his recovery. That's what they did with Percy. That's all they did. And it really hurt him because it meant that now, let's say you get hit, you get a hit, and the Survivor just walks in a straight line. It was actually possible to dash after him, hit him immediately again. Now it is no longer possible to do that. Because of the increased recovery, it means that when you hit someone, and let's say someone walks in a straight line, you can't just dash and hit them again. You can't do that anymore. And ever since then, that was like the only good thing he had going for him. And usually then that never happens. So. I'll read, I'll read what she does. I'll read what they changed about her because they changed a lot of things before she actually released. There's like a whole list. I didn't even bother reading because like, I don't even know what she regularly does. So get a nice comparison. What's changing? What are they planning on doing with this hunter? Did she get a buff? Did she get a nerf? I just know that she changed her, but I don't know if it's a buff or a nerf because I don't know what she did originally, so I'm gonna look into that, and uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna do that next stream. I will see you all later, guys. Thank you so much for coming, and yeah, take care. This has been Psyche. Peace out, everybody. Take care, boys. Bye-bye, Lantern. Thanks for coming. They don't want Percy to thrive. Yeah, Percy's dead. All right, guys, see you later.